The girl is where she live at. She wants you to come see her, give her some medicine that you got, boom, 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 but you can't make it. You got no gas. Mm -hmm. You walk in your dog, you see a homeless man, he asks you for bread. Mm -hmm. You got no money, so you tell him, no, you ain't got none. Eight steps away from him, you see $20 on the ground. <laughs> are you giving it to the homeless man? Or are you going to put the gas in your car and go give your girl No, I'm putting medicine? the gas in my car. So you're put, not giving him no bread? Because look, because homeless people don't use money the right what they you so think So that's what you're going to tell yourself no, to that's, make you feel better. <laughs> but I give homeless people money normally, so yeah. I built it up. So you think so, that so is, you can skip? So yeah, so skip. I can skip a couple. What? But it's like what? but it's like sometimes the homeless Bro said he can skip a couple homeless. Men <laughs> and it just but it's like, yo, some homeless people take that bread and use it on drugs. Yeah. And so, some use it on food. Exactly. So how you gonna know? Like, <laughs> mm. Wait, where's that part where he's where like he has like a little uh like a mm, like you couldn't hold the beat. Oh, uh, like <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, uh, Dirt on my name. Beat is a chain. Bottom is fake. Beat is a chain. Mm. Yo, Jason, the best in the group. Who was voted best in the group? It's gonna show me love. And you see, I'm on one. Mm hmm. Come here. I said no. That's it. <laughs> no. Nah, the come is crazy. That's it. That's it. That's it. The come is crazy. Yeah, we, we gotta work on that. We gotta work on that. <laughs> Who was voted the best? Did, did you have that as a thing? For nah, the... but he's up there though. Definitely. Who do you think? Else I just is... realized this jump built. Not even built straight. What? Like the symmetry. We need mean... curve. Look. <laughs> you see the curve? You see it though? <laughs> yeah. <It's just> like, <laughs> Wait. Let me see. It's curved. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize. Is that? Is this like a defect? Hey, it is what it is, bro. Hey, if you sell in the future, that shit might be good, hey, bro. That shit might be worth a lot. You win some, you lose. I got a two. Oh, my God. Wait, don't stock your Because you did that last part. Like niggas talking. caught you. <laughs> <He's talking. laughs> niggas no. caught you farting, bro. Nah, it's good. It's good, man. <sighs> I'm ready to get into it. You want to get into Just it? Just like that song that got no love. <laughs> song. Remember me and UJ's track? Oh, Get into yeah. it. I don't no know. Love. Oh, bitch, you outside. He's trying to get into it. No love. It is, no yo, love. if you want to hear this, bro, SoundCloud, bro. If you want to hear us, Apple Music, too. Apple Music. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're streaming on Apple Music. <laughs> they would never find the Apple Music. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they would yeah. never find the Apple Music. W's, W's. But um, you got anything you want to talk about, bro? Or you right. want me to start? You I got start some. It. You can start it. All right, so. What you got for me? Yo, you've been hearing. All right, so. you probably seen the shit with Blueface and Krishan, right? On the. On Jumpers. Uh, I said, uh, No Jumper. This yeah. All right, so I was actually at Barnes and Nobles watching that. You was watching that? I got YouTube Premium. I'm not like you peasants. I, was, <laughs> I played it. I was like watching academics break it down. I played it and I was just listening to it, like trying to see what the hell was going on. And I, that's why I got this hoodie. And uh -huh. I was like, oh, this this is a good interview. Like it was so crazy. Did you see it? I did. I was I was watching my boy at work. Yeah, it's a crazy interview, bro. Like it all started when he was saying like she didn't like him calling her. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was like a 30 minute conversation, yes, bro. And then. Like, I thought she got kicked out, like, within the first 10 minutes. But it was, like... Wow. They sat through that. Yeah, they sat through that for a minute. Like, they was arguing. So, can your girl call you? Like, can she? Um, Like, like what if she say, like, nah, you right now? Nah, that's, that's not what I said. Oh, like, <laughs> that's crazy. Like, like the way she was saying it. Like, yo, you a fucking... Like, you a bitch. That's yeah, crazy. Like, that's, yeah, that's what I was like. <laughs> that's crazy. But, but, she, but she was saying it because she said that she was calling him that because he called her that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I guess that's fair. But like, do you see the tantrum she's throwing, bro? Yeah, but it's like, I guess that's right. If someone calls you that, you could call them that back. Because like, if you disrespecting me, I'm gonna disrespect you back. But it's like, okay, I'm not saying Blueface is okay with saying shit like that. Like you, like you should, you can't be just calling your girl like, a, like yo, you like, unless you like, oh, you like you right now. That's that's different. But if you like, like you just continue like, oh yeah, this is my right here. That's kind of nuts. But niggas, but niggas think that's cool though. I mean, we got friends that call their girls. I know, yeah. <laughs> so like, I know, but it's like, I don't know. But like, for her, I could see how she would get mad. But like, throwing a tantrum like that is kind of nuts. See, it's weird, though, because like, if I'm with my girl and I'm like, I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, boom, I'm just chilling. I'm like, yo, that's my bitch. Like, yo, I love her. That's my, like, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's cool. But like, he, I feel like he's but saying it like, like yo, a. Like, you a, right now. Yeah, man, like. That is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So then he he was probably acting like that. And she probably said that to him. And you know, Blueface don't, don't take that but i was thinking like because she they was talking about how he hit her or 
uh, she hit him over the head with a with a cup and cut yeah, his head. Yeah. I'm thinking, why is he still with her, bro? Well, my car got broken into after we went to New York. We went to New York. Where did we go? Uh, Coney Island. I went to Coney Island. After my car. I had a Henny bottle in my trunk. They took the Henny bottle. No. I could have used it to be. I could have did what Christian Rock did to Blueface. I could have did it to him, <laughs> but I didn't. But continue. I didn't do it to him though. But I could have. That Henny bottle strong. Too. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know if it was a Henny bottle or it was like a cup, like a glass cup. But it cut him in the back of the head. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, you still like? Why is he still like putting up with this? He said he'd be saying like, oh, I'm I'm trying to like make her a better person. But Mark, like, you calling her? They broke up now. Did they really? Right? Because she got the baby in it. They didn't break up. I don't think so. I thought he said like they was officially done because she be sleeping with another dude. I think she's, she, but she was like, oh, no, we're not done enough like that. But I don't, like, that's why I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this whole thing is just. Why don't you watch the show? The show? Jay watches the show. Yeah, I'm about to say, why you don't watch it? I don't know. Because I don't have the, it's on like, what's that called? Zeus? They be on some weird. It's Blueface. Come on, bro. He not. He not on fire. I be. I feel like he's doing this to like stay in like the spotlight type of thing. I was just about to say, like honestly, I think he's only doing it for relevancy. Yeah, because like honest, it? bro. Wherever they go, they're gonna get media. Whatever he does, like he was on when they was on Kai. She shit. hit though. They, <laughs> she she fell off. She fell off. Yeah, teeth is important for me. So just every time I see her talk. Why don't she just get her teeth? And fixed? then after what she did on Kai's and that stream. Oh, that was disgusting. When she like hawk spit all over, she was oh, <laughs> that was nasty, bro. But it's like, but I also feel like they be antagonizing, but giving her like that henny and getting her drunk and shit like that to get like a reaction like that. That TV show probably good though, bro. That shit is nuts. Like them, I saw him sneak her dad. Yes, I, I rewatched that a couple times. <laughs> That's that what I'm nice. saying. So like, like, oh yeah, come here, boy. <laughs> he said some crazy. He commentated his punch. <laughs> You know how crazy it got to be to commentate before you punch somebody? <laughs> Somebody's father. Yeah, that's fine. That's, I was about to say that's And then that's wasn't D- DJ Academics just talking about how Blue, Blueface broke? Yeah. So maybe he using this shit to get money. I don't know. They've been going at it for a minute. And then a lot of, like, UJ was also saying that she might have something against him. Like, he he did, like, either some mook shit or, like, did some crazy shit. And if, like, they break up, like, for real, then she's just going to let that shit out in public. I feel like that's why Blueface been doing, like, been showing her a lot on social media for proof in case she ever goes to the court. Yeah. Like, he has a lot of evidence against her. That's what I'm saying. Hey, he's kind of exploiting her feelings. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's kind of sad. It's weird. Cause I, feel like, I feel like this day and the age, like, with social media has been mad weird, bro. Like, a lot of, like, when we when we was growing up, right, that's when social media first came out. Like, when we was in eighth grade, that's when Instagram and shit came out. Twitter came out, what, like, sixth, seventh grade. So, like, we didn't really experience, like, weird shit. Like, you see nowadays. I heard Twitter was jumping, though. When? Twitter was always jumping off rip. It was jumping. That's what the celebrities but, was using. But that's what niggas, back then, that's when niggas would tweet about everything. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like people would have like 10,000 tweets. And just give off any opinion. Like, gay people like, duh, duh, like, they say, <laughs> that's why they be getting canceled now. They be just saying the craziest stuff. <laughs> nah, that is true. Yeah, Twitter that was lit. I wasn't, I wasn't on it, y'all. Any thinking, thought you had, you just yeah, put on Twitter. Just, I never had, nah, I never had Twitter, but I knew people that had Twitter and they would just like tweet like, yo, I'm in the bathroom. I just pee, shit like yo, that. That junk be crazy. That's what I'm saying. But it's like, I feel like us, we didn't grow up on like what these kids is growing up on now like shit like you know you ever seen like you know the island boys like it's not like it's i mean you know I, we like we can no nah, i ain't gonna lie freshman year of high school there was two guys they was before the island boys they was nice who a shout out x bro x no he people played all the time i remember the song was two black brothers two black brothers yeah they was nice i don't know what happened to them just like I don't know. you I know guess what they was too early oh wait did they used to just do like the singing and shit they used to just, just do singing but do they, but like they they learn like they do the same shit over and over again so people will see like on the algorithm they yeah. did shit like that okay yeah but was it good or was it weird it was good but it was like a low key thing like oh, okay but I was talking- like that thing that I should be playing and Jordan be playing the did I do it for you yeah yeah That's yeah it was like that. oh was like okay a okay okay thing. if you know you know but if you don't know, I know I know what you mean but it's like I just feel like these kids like all this shit is like influence the kids to, like to be like weird and like arrogant. Like, especially, like, how the Island Boys are. Like, the Island Boys started some shit where it's, like, you could do shit that people don't agree with, but you can get famous off of. Like, hella, like, either arrogant shit, hella freaking weirdo shit, where they just, like, either talk shit about, like, random, or, what's the word? It's, like, they just do hella cringy shit. Like, when when you see it in the future, it's gonna be like, yo, why the fuck I did that shit? That's true. Like, I be seeing these two niggas from, on TikTok that just do the same weird ass singing and dancing. But if we look back at the, the skits we used to shoot, in, or I used to shoot in high school, you was busy hooping. But, you were <laughs> but like, that's like, not even that bad, though. That's just dancing. But like, they're- That could have went viral, though. It could have. Like, <laughs> yeah, y'all used too early. I just wasn't posting it on the right stuff, bro. Yeah, you was early. a little too early. But I mean, I'm talking about like, like, like right now, like we're pretty much like big on like the social media and shit like that. But we can look back and see like, oh, this is kind of funny. This is not, it's not corny. Some mm-hmm. niggas like, like they, they do it on purpose to like- Get like fame, like oh, that's like World Star. That's the whole yeah, page. like shit like that. World Star just posts like, mad fake stuff. No, did you see like the like, you know when Drewski does his lives and shit? 
there was two, I don't know if you've seen, there was two niggas that had like dreads and like that little weird ass haircut where it's like fade in the front. Like it was like a low cut, but they got dreads in the back. And he was like, yo, what these weird ass little Power Rangers doing? This nigga did a backflip. Those are the two niggas I was talking about. They'd be like doing the singing, but like they do it as a way to like. I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking yo, about? UJ right? and this girl keep showing me that. Joint. Really? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. They be posing. Yes. Yeah. And Tell they, me. Be, they be talking weird. Yes. They be like, do I do the right? Yeah. I can't. Oh, wait, I wait. can't. Stay. Like, they, they do shit for people to hate them, but it's like they're going to keep watching it because they hate it so much. Yo, I know exactly what you're talking that about. That shit. Yeah, with the fade. Yes, the <laughs> fade on the <laughs> fade. Yo, 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 Bro, yo. that shit be killing me, bro. No, yeah, that's that's different. Like, just imagine you, we're doing shit like that. We go back like forty. We go back and look at that. Like, what the fuck were you thinking? But it's like it's working out for them because niggas is listening to their music. Like Perkyo, remember Perkyo? Oh, um, little dirt look alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he but, Haitian though. Shout out him. <laughs> so I ain't reminding. I be that. I be seeing hella Haitian people on my TikTok, bro. You seen the shit I put in the chat with that that Haitian? Bro, I just ignored it, bro. What do you be talking about, <laughs> bro? Yeah, they be saying, "Girl, where you going?" Yes, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like they're promoting their music. So like they keep saying it, so now you just keep hearing it. So that's like a no. I think that's like some new form of like marketing type shit. It's kind of smart, but like it's like a, a route people really don't want to go down. Cause yeah. like, but they don't really last that long though, bro. I've been like seeing when people do stuff like that. They how, don't last that long. How long do you think it will last? Island Boys lasted for like what a year. Island Boys are still lasting. You think? Nah. Oh no, they're not lasting as much as they did. You never heard these two? Nah, I never Yo, seen them. High school, before. that joke was lit. That joke got two point nine million. That joke really? Was two black boys. How Mula they? gang, we are the one. Mula gang, we are the chosen one. Oh wait, I think I heard that before. Cause I'm around, around with the Tommy gun. Whoa, the chosen one. We are the. That was like <laughs> that shit. Kinda, that shit kind of. I was just kind of mid, but them was nice. That was early, like early like eighth grade. Like, really? Yeah. So what? They're probably like. I don't know our, where they at now. You think they were our age at the time? Probably low key. So they probably like our age now, right? I ain't doing nothing. Because I ain't hear from them since. What if they're like one of them low key artists? You know how wrestlers be coming back and changing their names? What if yeah. they, they came back? Imagine. And they probably somebody else. Are they twins? I don't even know. You think so? They Let ugly, me see. Though. <laughs> they they ugly. might be, though. <laughs> they look like brothers. I can't even play for y'all because they the type to find this joint. Yeah. They <laughs> copyright. No, like, there's no way, like, bro. Yeah, there's the no way. So I don't even But know. no, I'm just thinking, like, I feel like shit like that, especially like. Like, you know, the Fresh and Fit podcast that be, like, slandering women. I yeah. feel like a lot of kids watch that, and they're going to, like, grow up I know saying, a lot of people that watch that. I do, too. <laughs> Those are crazy. Some of the shit he says, okay, it's fine. But, like, there's a lot of shit that they be talking about that don't make sense. It's just, like. I like the Andrew Tate. Yeah. Like but some like, things Andrew Tate say make sense. But I kind of I kind of like Andrew Tate, though. Not with some of the shit he says, but some shit he says kind of does make sense. Yeah. But it's, like. I, but people always going to say, like, well, a broken clock is right twice a day or something like that. Yeah. But I feel like nah, he be say, some things he say you can't even argue. Yeah, it's just his opinion. So it's like, what, so, why get mad over it? I think that's what I'm saying. Fresh and fit do be wild. Though. They be they be tweaking. Even DDG said that they be tweaking on these yeah, bitches, they, they bro. Be, they be tweaking. They gotta calm down. Like I don't know why it's they just wrong. be slandering these women for. Like they just bring them. And like I think I seen a video. I seen a a girl. I guess like that nigga Myron, whatever his name is, the bald dude. He's just like DMing her on some shit and he was like gonna pay her flyer and shit like that, but she wanted to do some shit like something. Like, like the only fucking. time I, I think is he the one that was a CIA agent? Uh huh. He's that's the only time. If ever just like a case with like Young Thug or like Tory Lane's thing and he yeah. chat about it. That's what you listen that's to. That's when I'll be like, right, let me hear from That's what I'm saying. Like he Let me hear from that because he knows more. He than knows I'm and he's like a real estate agent, so yeah. he knows about all the shit. So I'm like, let me check it out. The other dude look like a turtle. <laughs> no. I'm cool I don't even know him. what like what I I never heard clips with him in it. Cause what he be talking about? He don't do. He don't say nothing. Like he's just like a yes man. I feel like, like he's just a yo, yes man I, to that one nigga. I don't know. He just be word. Yo, I be like yes. Yeah, that's, like, that's what I'm saying. Just be I never angry. like I all the know. clips is with the other nigga. Yeah, I don't. Like he don't be saying nothing. W man's though. I guess that's what, if that's what you need. He Loki might be the producer. <laughs> like he's nah. the one like like uh, fixing all the audios and shit. Nah. You never know. You think Tate getting out? I don't know. I heard they're torturing that nigga, bro. Yo, I seen him today. They dropped the vid. You seen it? Nah, I just heard. I just seen a uh, wait of him. Yeah, him and his brothers were walking out. Really? Yeah. That Andrew Tate had a hairline. Really? Oh, that's how long they've been there, bro. <laughs> he had a hairline. Damn, <laughs> bro. Nah, I don't know. I don't right. think so. You think he? You think he really did that though? I don't know. I don't put nothing past nobody. Uh, yeah. But I still do believe in innocent till proven guilty. I do too. I know that's wrong now. And people get canceled for that. Yeah, but I still believe in it. So. You gotta, you gotta find the evidence. Like, yeah, like, especially with some shit like that's nice od. So, like, like especially like, like why would he need to do that? And Romania too. Like, I, don't I know. know I don't know none of that law, so I don't know what they get away with. I heard that. Sh- I heard, bro. I heard he they threw him in like a dark cell. Bro, like we're black. Like, do we really trust the police? 
That's so like, you can't even be mad at me for not that's what I'm just saying. believing what the news tell me. That's what I'm saying. Niggas can, bro. niggas can fake put shit on anybody, bro. If they really want that nigga gone, bro. Like in the eighties, and the cops used to beat up black people and then put cocaine in their pocket and then like send them a drug. Oh yeah, 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 like come on, yeah, like, yeah. Come on. You want me? Come on, you want me to believe the system, bro? They be talking about they they put drugs into the the cities and guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah come on, like, come like on. these kids be having guns. Like, where do you think they you get could have did from? it? Well, I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I don't want to get into all that yeah, politics. That's know, that's yeah, the weird part. I don't know, bro. Free that nigga though, bro. I'm, yeah, free him or not. I don't know. Why did he arrest his brother? His brother be like, I don't know. I didn't even know he had a brother bro, for they him. took all his cars. I know, they took all his cars. They the took the case didn't even try when it done started. <laughs> they took his cars. They took everything in the car. they arrested him and then started an investigation. Isn't it supposed to be the other way that around? That was so crazy to It's me. supposed was, to be like an like, yeah, investigation then arrest? Yeah, I was like, damn, Romania is just. Hey, bro, them niggas know. backwards, bro. I don't know. I don't know, bro. They had good content, though. They did. Yo, all the time they be on my YouTube and the reels of GTA vid with Andrew Tate talking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it be always the GTA video, like yeah. the shit on the ramps. Yeah, on the car. He be driving. Andrew Tate just be talking. <laughs> my father was a strong man. He played chess. And then you and just see the car just <laughs> driving. Oh, yeah, what is this? I wish niggas do that shit with us, bro. Why don't y'all do that, bro? Just do yeah. like a GTA video, just like, you know, falling off a cliff or some shit like but that. But the good GTA. Like, yeah. Like, I don't want no mid clips. Man, like, I don't want no GTA 3 or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, that'd be trash. <laughs> but, you, oh, yo, I also seen some shit. There was a guy that ordered McDonald's, right? And it was in the morning, and he got you know the little big the bags and shit. And it was like a wad of ca- like it was like the uh, like a bag of cash because I guess the people took the cash out of the register. They're gonna put it in the bank, and he gave it back to them. So my question to you is: Would you have given them the money back first? It wasn't a McDonald's bag. It was in the McDonald's, like the little plastic ones. So you're saying they took the money out the register, put it in a McDonald's bag, and they was gonna put handed it to him by accident. Where were they gonna put it? I think they were supposed they were supposed to like give it up or something like that. Like you know, they in take, a McDonald's bag. Yes, like it was like wrapped up in like little baggies, like like bills. Like it was at least like maybe like uh, ten thousand dollars in there. And they gave it to him by accident because and they thought it was his food, and he returned it. And he returned it, and then he got free McDonald's for a month. <laughs> <laughs> so my question to how you how much money would you say if you had to guess if I could guess it might have been a little no no less than 5,000 so he got $5,000 from McDonald's oh for the month oh no, like that was in that bag oh yeah yeah it was less no more no no less than 5,000 so it was a lot of money he got $5,000 from McDonald's in a bag mm-hmm. drove off looked at it and said I'm gonna return it and you were asking it. me if I would return it yeah no you want to return she it? You would return it? I think I would, bro. Why? Because I have a guilty conscience. I, I believe in like doing good shit and then good shit come back to me. So like if I do well, a good What if pe- you did something good and that wasn't coming back to you? What the? the, the 5,000, yeah. And then you just gave I don't know. It's just good on my conscience, bro. But what do you mean? Like I just feel like if I would like say I would have took that money, I feel like everything would just went bad for me. Like some bad luck or some shit like that. Like I, I could never. I, so, it's just me, bro. So you saying... Like you like to do good things so you could get good like good energy and good stuff. Yeah. But what if that was your reward? Oh, what if it was my reward? And like that reti- money? Yeah. What oh. if, that's what I'm saying. What if that was your reward? I don't know, bro. Like, it just. I just feel, I, bro. I remember. I just feel guilty, bro. All right. So let me give you. Let me give you a scenario. Yeah, give me a scenario. All right. So you you got like two ten miles till empty. Mm-hmm. Your girl is where she live at. She wants you to come see her, give her some medicine that you got, boom, 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 but you can't make it. You got no gas. Mm-hmm. You walk in your dog, you see a homeless man, he asks you for bread. Mm-hmm. You got no money, so you tell him, no, you ain't got none. Eight steps away from him, you see $20 on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> are you giving it to the homeless man, or are you going to put the gas in your car and go give your girl No, I'm putting medicine? the gas in my car. So you're but, not giving him no bread? Because look, because... Homeless people don't use money the right what they you so think. So that's what you're going to tell yourself no, to make you feel better. <laughs> I get, but I give homeless people money normally, so yeah. I built it up. So you think so that you, is, so you can skip? So yeah, can so skip. I can skip a couple. What? But it's like, what? but it's like sometimes the homeless Bro said he can skip a couple homeless. <laughs> <laughs> just but it's like, yo, some homeless people take that bread and use it on drugs. Yeah, and so, some use it on food. So, exactly. So how you gonna know? Like, <laughs> you just telling yourself that so you can put the gas in your car. <laughs> See, but like that that moment, I don't think I would have did it. I would have just used it for gas. That 20, I would have used it for gas because I'm the same person who would have kept the McDonald's money. <laughs> now you playing two <laughs> what different if, sides. What if, I, what if I do? What if I give him half? You, you would have gave him $10? I would have given him $10. Would you really? So you would have went, put $10 see, in, then went back to him and gave him the $10. That's what you told me. I could do that. I would, would, would I have think of that, thought of that in that moment? I don't think so. No, you wouldn't have. But like that's fine. Like, oh, bet. I'm a, 
I'm coming right now. You would have texted like, yeah, but I got 20. But that's this fu- is God. God just gave me 20. That's what you said. <laughs> w, W, God. I appreciate you. That's what you but said. that's 5,000. I don't know, bro. I just I'm feel. I'm keeping a five. Can go, they even, what they going to do? Arrest me? I don't know. But I mean, that's not your fault. You know, so. banks do that sometimes. Like, they deposit, like, a lot of money in some people's account, and then people will try to take it out and spend it. Oh, really? And then the bank be like, you owe us money now. And then people just, like, forget <laughs> that and switch to a different bank. Really? Yeah. They, like done, they, they done it. gave me money, too. Like, like randomly? Yeah, it was like 200, though. Oh, okay. You know, you never had a job pay you, like, extra bed by mistake? Yeah, I did. It's like, you returned it? I did. I mean, I couldn't. Like, if it's I, the but, same like, But, like, if I'm saying, like, if it's that, like, that easy, to, if it's that easy to return it, just going back, I would do it. But if it's, like, I have to do all this work, then I'm not going to do it. All right, so let me give you, let me tell you what happened to me. <laughs> so, I, you know, I work in, I'm a toll, tolls. Yeah. So, boom, this customer came. He gave me, um, he gave me $100. The toll was like two dollars and thirty cent. I said, I said, bro, I don't got change for this. <laughs> Wait, it was t- how much did he give you? A hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollar bill. Yeah, they do that all the time. That's crazy. It's the dumbest thing. I'm like, bro, I don't have change for this. That's crazy. He's like, what you mean you ain't got change? He's throwing throwing tantrum. Do do do. He's like, hey, I ain't got. I don't know what you want me to do. I said, oh, bet we got an online option, so you could pay online. Uh huh. He's throwing an attitude. And he's like, I right, would give it to me. So I print out the paper. I hand it to him. He takes the paper and speed off. Uh huh. Now, did you hear the story? I said. He never took his hundred oh, back. Oh, but he asked for it back though. No, he didn't. Okay, see that. Now listen. Now from here, I had two options. <laughs> I could put it in the drawer <laughs> and be up. Like they would be like, "Yo, Chris got an extra hundred dollars in his drawer." I don't know what he did, but hey, maybe somebody. Because you're not allowed to take tips. Mm-hmm. Or that hundred could have went to my pocket. So what'd you do? Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yo. No comment. So what would you have done? I would have put it in the thing. You would have put the hundred in the drawer. Yeah, I'll put it in the drawer. Hey, I would put it in the drawer. Hey, maybe that's what I did. Hey, you don't know. <laughs> I would don't put know. it in the drawer. That I happened a lot. Fifty dollars. The one that one hundred dollar bill shocked me. I was like, really? Bro, just didn't care about this hundred. <laughs> the fifty. Sometimes the twenty. Sometimes that happened. But the hundred. Damn. Sometimes people give me two twenties and really? speed off. Why? And I'm like, niggas don't know how the tolls be. Yeah. <laughs> people be acting like it's the end of the world if they wait ten seconds. Wow. People be that impatient. Yeah, bro. So if McDonald give me five k. That's what I'm gonna do. I come back with one K. I'd be like, yo, yeah, I had a K in my bag. There you go. Oh, you give them, but you keep the four? Yeah. How they gonna know exactly how much K is on it? I mean, they, they might have, unless they, if they ask me, then I'll get them the one K. Okay. Because I'm not about to, they ain't gonna be like, nah, we, we gave you five K. What a four. <laughs> so I ain't about to do that. They're gonna impress me. So I'm just gonna chill. I just think for me, bro, like, it's just my, my, I have a really guilty conscience, bro. Like, that shit, like, bro, I found five dollars coming out the vending machine. I walked past it, five dollars came out, like, two bills and like three dollars and quarters. I gave that shit to a homeless person. So if you see a vending machine with chips that got stuck and you hit it and the chips come, oh no, that's cool. You're not going to eat it because oh, I feel guilty. Somebody nah, nah, else that's, paid for this. That's fine. Like food is cool. Well, bro. Like your level into it is crazy. <laughs> I like, don't know, bro. bro. Like like food and shit like that. That's cool. Like, but the money, I just I I, I feel guilty, bro. So if McDonald give you a large fries and you ask for small, you you cooling? Yeah, I'm good. All right, so remember that commercial with the dude in the basketball who was out of bounds and he told the coach? Yeah. That's you? <laughs> no. Okay, that's what I'm saying. You playing levels. Like, the that was le- a championship game. He that was tweaking. Was, nigga, I, you know how I be in basketball. Yeah, I be cheating. Bro, I do like, be cheating yeah. in basketball. I was like, bro, you're wild. I was not out. <laughs> bro, but like, I don't know, bro. Like, just, just money is just, I don't know. It's just... No. I'm, I have, I believe it. I feel like if I were to give that 5000 back, something great is going to happen to me afterwards. Like what? I don't know something. That was the great thing. I'm telling you, the five K. <laughs> I did something good before in the five K. Yeah, my you gave the five to the homeless man, and God said, "You know what? Double that. It's five K." <laughs> you said, "No thanks." <laughs> like what? <laughs> like what are you doing? I don't know, bro. Nah, people, tell me what y'all do, bro. Am I wrong, or am I just? Tweaking. I'm tweaking. You pay your sides. I don't know what's up with you. Inconsistent. To be honest, I'm consistent. Hey, so, uh, hey that's man. tough, bro. Um, but you, you want me to tell you the the story? I want to tell you, bro. Since it goes in with the the villains. Let me hear the story. All right. So I got a a low key one of the craziest like serial killer stories I heard in a minute, bro. Are you ready for this? Because I know how you be, but now I'm prepared for this. You ready? Yeah. So this was so the guy's name is Joe Metheny, right? Yep. It was during the 1990s. He's from so the guy's name Joe Metheny from Baltimore, right? He was during the 1990s. He was known to kill at least I think over 10 people, and he the reason why he started killing people is because I think his girlfriend left him, like in Baltimore, they left him because he was a truck driver, so he wasn't home a lot. His girlfriend left him and took his kid 
and then he went on a killing spree, killed 10 people, but he would kill them and throw their bodies in the in the river, right? But that's not even the worst part, bro. The same river? It would be scattered around, but he would keep some parts of the people. Like, he'll cut them up, and he owned a hamburger shop, right? Yes. The nigga owns a burger shop, so he would get the meat and mix it in with, like, beef and pork, and he would serve it to, like, people on the walk, like, passing by. What year was this? In the 90s. Yes, bro. So the people of Baltimore, bro, they was eating, like, human How'd meat. How'd he get caught? Um, I think they got, like, suspicion on, like, missing people. So Brody girl left him. Yes. And he started killing people. Yeah, but I heard he had, like, a troubled life. Like, his, his dad passed away, but he was, like, pretty abusive. His mom never really cared about him. That He went to foster home, foster home. That shit only works in anime. <laughs> Sad stories on the villain. Like, it only works in anime. That shit don't work in real life, bro. Hey, bro. It sounded like it did, bro. You're not about to kill a hundred people, then sad music start playing. <laughs> you give me a flashback and it's all good. But like at first they like he only got trialed for two people they killed. So they did they they didn't really have that much evidence. So he's only in jail for like a year and they took uh took him out, but then he started killing more people, and that's when he started like selling it like the food. And then it became like a whole big story. Was it to, good? That's crazy, I, right? <laughs> Yo, I don't I don't fucking know, bro. Like was he was he getting biscuits? I mean he was getting people was eating it. So like that's like that's but like you can't tell because it has pork and beef in it. But there's there's little traces of human meat in there. And like he would kill like sex workers, like like the little uh women. There's a whole, it was mostly women and people that seen him do it. Like he would kill somebody and somebody would see him kill somebody and then he'll kill that person. And the dude was huge, but I think it was like four fifty. He was a big dude. How tall is he? He, I don't think he might have been like a little shorter than he you. He five eight. That's crazy. No, nah, no, nah, he was like six one, four fifty. So like he would like kill the people. Like he would like cut them up. He would kill. He. I don't know if he. Would, I don't know how he would stab him. Like kill him though. Did they um they poison like did they kill him in jail? Nah, he just died like pe- like he just died in jail in two thousand seventeen. I think he died mad recently. Yeah, it was it was pretty recent. Either two thousand fourteen or seven. It was one of those. Those um years. That's mad recent. Yeah, like it was. It was people the watching his grandparents and parents probably ate from. That's that. what I'm saying, that's bro. Disgusting. That is nasty. Like, like <laughs> that's why. Like you know that little. But some hot, people eat pork. Yeah, some people. But I'm not gonna compare their bodies to pork. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm great. saying. But like you know that little hot dog stand in the hillside by the bridge. That's like by that Popeyes. Manny Wieners. Yes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he yeah, moved, he I don't moved know, over there it's Bro crazy. I, I'm telling Like I remember me Jordan and Ish went over there and You had like, it? No I never had it But like they wanted it But like it wasn't open But it's just always there Like just it imagine is. He's doing shit like that Cause you could hide A human meat and hot dogs <laughs> What the hell is going on Yo, I don't know bro Damn I seen, That was it was That was one of the Craziest like stories I heard I seen like in a minute So you bro. don't eat hot dogs? I do eat hot dogs Respectfully I, that's why I don't, you never. Where you, where you get your hot dogs from? I eat Nathan's. Nah. Or the I, Arnold's. Which what, what color is that? I don't even. The Arnold's is like in a box. I eat the. the it's like a blue one. It's not. I forgot what it's called. It's not Nathan's though. It might be Nathan's you though. Eat some random joint. Some what's from Nathan's. Some Schwartz's Some random Schwartzburgs. Joint. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but like New York got good hot dogs. Nah, they do though. But Them that story made me not want to eat hot dogs. Because hot dogs Like if you don't look What you're getting That joke could say Made with chicken Tuna pork beef I know it got hella shit mad random But like, they do have Chicken hot dogs <sighs> But them shit is gross Beef hot dogs only. No yeah beef hot dogs It'd be like Pig toenails in the hot dog bro. That's, that's why disgusting. That's why I would never Watch the documentaries On like those food things Yeah because if that I watch It's gonna change me It'll kill me bro like, Especially on the, I don't eat pork I try not to eat pork now Pepperoni pizzas though They got it But everything outside of that I But some eat. things might have Little traces of pork, of pork in it Yeah like okay. gelatin Huh? Like they, Jellison. They got pork in it? Yeah. This like, girl I know I went to school with, uh, she talking about she can't eat jello and pudding and stuff. They got pork. Pudding too? Yeah, we was going, because we went on a trip together. We went to the supermarket it. to do some shopping. Yeah. So we was looking at snacks, and I'm like, oh, we about to get the good food snacks. I already know. Like, Funnables, really good. Mm-hmm. She was like, no, nah, I can't eat that. I was like, all right, whatever, let's get it well. She said, no, nah, I can't eat that. I can only eat, like, some joint with a rabbit on it. Yeah, yeah, I know Yeah, she one. said, I can only eat those because all the other fruit snacks got pork in it. I said, fruit snacks got pork in it? She said, yeah, it got gelatin. I was like, oh my Wait, God. so is gelatin pork? Yeah, is it, it like, pork. It like pork fat? It. It's like some type of pork is in gelatin or what? something like that. It's like pork is in fruit snack. Pork is in mad random stuff. That's why I can't eat that shit. Bro. Like that's no, that's not eat. I can't watch those videos. And bro. pigs don't sweat. <laughs> pigs don't sweat. So all their stuff that they eat is just in there. Yeah. So is that why people don't like eating pork, or is it just like a? That's spiritual one of the thing? reasons. Like pigs don't sweat. They're one of the dirtiest animals. They eat their own poop. They eat whatever. But don't. I mean, I don't think. I mean, some cows be like. Do cows sweat? 
Yeah, I think so. Oh, they do? Okay. I think pigs just don't have sweat glands. Oh, so they just literally just like sponges of dirt. Yeah, and they're pretty filthy. And like, yeah, they are kind of Think nasty. of any pig you've ever seen animated. They're never clean. Yeah, that is that's true. animated. So I know, some real, real life type shit? Yeah. Oh. But it's like, people, bro, like the way we, in America you just eat chicken, beef, fish, and, and pork. pork. Yeah, I know, so that's it. There's nothing else we ain't eat. Ain't no horse. Ain't no turtles. We don't eat none of them extra stuff. Yeah, there's there's very, you know, some people eat like bison burgers. Yeah, that's like that's, that. that's that's rare, bro. Yeah. Pork is everywhere. That's what I'm saying. It's loo- like, you ever seen that shit with pork McDonald's? Pork bacon is everywhere. I know. You ever seen that shit with freaking McDonald's? They said like everything in it except like five foods has like a certain like, I don't know if it's sugar or like some weird shit, something in it. I don't know. I forgot what it was. It was like, even like the ice cream had, it. I don't know if it was pork too or something else, but bro, it was like. Why does everything in McDonald's have one same ingredient? I don't, that, I don't know what it is, bro. Think about it. I just had McDonald's the other day. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> shit crazy. <laughs> nah, I swear. There's something. I have Mc- a choice, bro. Bro, there's something in McDonald's, bro. Because like, you ever eat McDonald's and you're mad hungry, but like after you eat it, you're still hungry? Yeah. Like that's not, that's not weird. They got good fries though. They that Mc, do. McFlurry. Bro. Now, you know who's starting to have some good fries now that I used to slander? Chick fil A, bro. You're to say Burger King. Nah, nah, someone nah. tell me that. Nah, Chick fil A, bro. They Be- good for it. Nah, but when they get cold. That's what I'm saying. Because sometimes terrible. you get Chick fil A fries, they're not, they're not crispy. But like, I be going to Jersey City, they be, yo, they be making that shit crispy. I don't know who frying that shit back there. That shit is delicious, bro. Like, that shit got a crunch to it. Yo, yo, their that, fries is up there. That shit, like, I'm not, they put salt on it. Some, some, the one in you, they don't put no salt in them shit. No, they bro. don't. And they don't be that hot. But they barely put any in there either. It'd be like five of them in the bro, little. Bro, that's why when social media always talking about Chick fil A, like, the best service, I'm like, no. They don't. They got nice people. They got good people, but it don't it don't be as nice as the bit them videos be saying. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. It's it's just nicer than. What's most. better than Popeyes? Hell yeah! For oh sure. my god, bro! My dad hates Popeyes. Or oh, I just had some today. That's crazy. I'm just eating all that. <laughs> busted, though. My dad hates Popeyes. Had the spicy tenders. It's been a minute. They got uh, Popeyes has the best condiments, like best sauce. Yeah, no, nah, they do. They do. That's the sweet, sweet heat, the barbecue, oh, the black and that ranch. That sweet heat the, goes the, stupid, The Marty Gray mustard. Bro. Everything they got is Sweet like the best. goes yeah, stupid, so, bro. Nobody else got like better sauce. But my dad hates like the service, bro. Like every time he goes to Popeyes, they always mess up his meal. They got a new chicken sandwich. Which one? It's oh, the black and one? It's so good. Is it good? It's really good. It's better than the... Does it yeah. make you feel healthier than the other yeah, one? Yeah, Okay, I might have to try that one. With a black and ranch. Mm, so good. I might have to try I that, that I said, this is nice. Is it? <laughs> Got it with mac and cheese. Did that you job. put the mac and cheese on it? No, that's I ain't TikTok, bro. I ain't, ah. I ain't, I ain't <laughs> Sometimes go. I get bored, bro. But I do want to go to Cane's because I saw people put like tenders in the cup and put hot sauce in it and they shook it up. With the mac and cheese? Wait, no. Or with Cane's. The oh, okay, okay, so okay, okay. Day okay. tenders. Put it in the thing with some hot sauce in the cup, spray it in there, shake oh. it up. It was like spicy tenders. That sounds good. I was like, with that bread to balance it out, bro, it might hit. But you know Dave's Hot Chicken's in freaking Wayne, bro? Really? Yeah. they made- girl I know went, we out. We haven't had that in so long. Uh, it's been, what, two, three years, maybe? No, like four, three and a half years. Three and a half? Yeah. Because there's, there's this one, like- Was it re- good? I liked it. I think I don't know if it was you. I think Chichi was the one that was fiending over that shit because Chichi just went like recently. I think he went with Fritz. <laughs> they like, drove all the way to Wayne. Wayne's only like what twenty five minutes. Is it really? Yeah, it's like forty. No, it's not that bad. This ain't it ain't that deep. Dave's hot chicken. Dave's hot chicken, bro. Yeah, we I've been eating the like the the knockoff brand like in Jersey. It's a place called Twins Hot Chicken. It tastes just like it, but it's not Dave's hot chicken though. I don't even remember this hot chicken to be honest. It's it staple steak and steak and shake staple though. <laughs> I told that you, bro. In my brain. I remember Jay, that. Jay put you on, bro. Jay put me on. Yo, great. That was a good birthday cake milkshake. Really? And I was so scared of it, bro. Order. I wish they still had. They had this burger. That shit was called the Cajun Butter Burger. I don't I, know what the hell you talking about. I was in there confused trying bro, to order that. They, I think they took it off the that shit. I almost cried, bro. I was, was out the good? window eating that shit, bro. <laughs> that was good. I gotta go back to Miami. Yeah, bro. For food though, no, I ain't for that. No, no rolling loud, bro. Are you going to rolling loud again, bro? I might go to New York. You should come. What for rolling? Me and Jay want to go. Are going to the Drewski shit? Yeah, I want to go too. Oh, bet I just go with y'all. Oh. Y'all going to the one in New York? We don't know. She has a game that day, so we might go to a different one, like somewhere else. Like we might have to. Hey, now I got a ride, so now I'm deaf going. <laughs> I was saying up ish. I was like, y'all don't know how we are gonna get. There. I need to. I need to see that. Bro, shit. I want to go to the that shit shit would be yeah, fucking be hilarious, my nigga. It's gonna be lit. Oh my god, yo, you think you gonna bring that nigga out that be coming out with that with like shirtless and he be pop locking? He need to bring out that <laughs> fake soldier boy. Yeah. <laughs> And have him perform. That, Yo, he needs to have either that nigga or the one nigga that was dancing and was doing backflips. He was like, Yo. that bro, that's yeah. gonna be. You watch his YouTube vid? Which one? He dropped like a vid, like him recruiting people for the tour. I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I watched that one. Should I watched the that. other ones. That's kind of funny. Like I've never been to a comedy show before. 
Really? No, nah, I've never been to one. I've been to one. Gabriel Iglesias when he came to Kane. Is that the the, the Mexican dude? Yeah. With the mustache? I'm, I'm not fat. I'm fluffy. Yeah, no mustache. Yeah. I don't think he has a mustache. You don't have a mustache? I think I know what you're talking bald, about. That. But. Was it good? It was in? To the Hispanic people, it was the funniest thing in the world. Really? It was cool. Because I remember. Do you remember? Were you there with me when we was at Keene and we was waiting on the train? And there was like that coffee shop, and there was like a little. Yeah, I was there. There was there. There was like a little coffee shop. That was the only one I've been to. That was mid. That was terrible. <laughs> I felt bad, but that shit wasn't that funny for him. Not gonna lie, when why did he start hiking on us when we walk in though? I ignored it. I don't <laughs> when, when white people sh- like doing stand up, I kind of tune out. Some of them should be funny though. On TikTok. Feel, yeah, like the professionals. I yeah, the professionals you, be funny like, as hell. People like they nah. starting out. Nah, you're not you're not really tapping in. Like, you don't know the culture type shit. Yeah, you're not gonna say nothing that's gonna make me laugh. That's not. <laughs> you gonna say you're afraid of saying stuff that's racist? Like that's the same jokes they be using. Yeah, so. that's true. That's true. I don't, I'm a hard critic. I like dark humor. So. I do like dark humor too, bro. So like these these like Gabriel was doing a lot of family jokes, like like family safe safe jokes. Yeah, no. he did some that was. I guess. I don't uh, know. Like, was, uh, type of shit like that? What is he? You said Mexican? It was cool. He's Hispanic. Hispanic? Because I don't want to throw Mexican on Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I'll be doing Sorry, that. Bro. So I don't know. But it was cool. All right. Shout out, Gabriel. All right. You got anything you want to talk about? You want to talk about your topics? Because right. I got another story afterwards, but I'm going to let you go to your topics. All right, bet, bet, bet. So, if you had to fight one, who would you pick? Let me hear it. John Cena. It's the 20th. It was like his 20th anniversary for wrestling. Shout out him. He's about to be on the cover of the next game. Oh, I seen that. So John yeah. Cena or Demarcus Cousins? <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you rather Who fight? Who would I rather fight? Who I'm, do you think could fight better though? No. Who do you think was gonna win that fight? Demarcus Cousins beating John Cena ass. Do you really think so? I think he got the hood of that. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> That's funny. That's a crazy fight, right? John, it's like a, they're both athletes. Yeah, but, but they're just different backgrounds. Demarcus Cousins six eleven though. But but uh, John I, Cena fought the fucking Big Show and suplexed that nigga. <laughs> and, but I don't even know who's been in that fight, to be honest. John Cena is tough, though. Like, How tall is he? I think he, he could take mad hits. How tall is he? He got to be like six foot. Damn. I Bro he's wrestled tall. in jean shorts for like 30 years. I'm I know. Sure. <laughs> so I know he like about it. But the Marcus Cousins, I think. like, th- I, But wasn't he like scared of Zach Randolph? No. Was he? I think he was. Nah, Zebo. Z- Zebo nah, crazy though. He is crazy. Zebo crazy. Don't 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 that get twisted. That nigga's Zeebo nuts, crazy. bro. Zebo's but, crazy already. But, <laughs> I think I'll fight John Cena. I can't. That reach of Demarcus. You fight John Cena, the I man think, who picked up Big Show and Edge. I'll yeah. fight him, bro. I just the, just the hype, bro. I never told nobody this, but I slap boxed this nigga named Jordan in middle school. Nigga six six. I didn't win. Was it close? It was the reach is crazy, bro. It's that bad. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Just just imagine six eleven. So you would not fight Demarcus Cousins? Nah, I you can't. would fight a professional wrestler I'll fight over a professional basketball player. Yes, I would. I'll fight a wrestler. <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I listening? To I would fight John Cena, bro. <laughs> what? I would, fight, I would fight John Cena. What? What if it was Brock Lesnar? Oh, he was in a UFC, fuck. bro. Are you dumb? <laughs> I don't want to fight them. <laughs> like, Demarcus Cousins is big as hell, bro. Bro, Brock Lesnar was in a UFC. <sighs> Okay, if it's Brock Lesnar, then I gotta go with Demarcus Cousins, but I'm I'm fighting John Cena. What? The? <laughs> you're so adamant about it, like you're sure. I'm fighting or John that, Cena. All right, what if it was you had to fight Shaq or the Great Kahili? Oh, Kali. Yeah. <sighs> now they both tall. Okay, now they both yeah, tall. Yeah, now they both tall. Ah, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say some fucking. Crazy. I don't even know who's winning that fight. <laughs> I think Shaq losing. He going he gonna fucking so? boot to the face. Shaq be talking like he could fight, but I don't think he can for real. That's why I think, I think he think was I, just stronger than taller than everybody. Yeah, that's basically it. I don't know. I never seen him throw a punch for real. You seen Great Kai blow a punch for real? I seen the boots. I seen him boot some nigga in the face. Yeah, his leg go up. Was that Ray high. Mysterio? <laughs> he fucking yeah, Ray Mysterio racing. Oh, bro, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you got Great Kai? Kali? Nah, I think I'll go. <sighs> or Shaq? They about the same height. They are the same height, but Shaq's bigger though. But does that? Has he, I take I take Shaq. I feel like Great Kali got like a chin on him. Like if I hit him in the chin, you're not gonna hurt. Not gonna hurt him that bad. So he picked <laughs> two basketball <laughs> players over two professional athletes who wrestle, who no. take hits all day. I pick. I picked. You pick. You fight John Cena. I'm fighting John Cena. I'm not fighting. What's his name? The Great Kali. Kali, no. So you'll fight Shaq. I'll fight Shaq. Okay. So in the finals, it would be Demarcus Cousins and Great Kali. Who's winning? I'm fighting Demarcus Cousins. 
Let's open a great Khali. <laughs> yeah, bro. Why you don't want to fight the great Khali? <laughs> wait, wait, no. Actually, Demar- Demarcus cousin kind of hood, bro. I- I'll fight great Khali, bro. The great Khali, I'll fight him. Over oh, Demarcus cousin. Yeah, I feel like he's kind. Of, I don't think he's as as quick as like Demarcus cousin. I feel like Demarcus cousin got a little like a wiggle to him. Both in a prime. In a prime. Yeah, both in a prime. Great Khali wasn't that fast though. He wasn't. Like he was kind of slow. Like but he- you're fighting someone. Do you need to be that fast? <laughs> I-, I could find a way. Was it? No, nah, that was that was Boban. That was in the fucking John Wick movie. He got his ass beat. Yeah, he got destroyed. <laughs> he got, he got, he got killed destroyed. with a book. <laughs> if it's me, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. I'm fighting Demarcus Cousins. You gonna fight Demarcus Cousins over John Cena? Really? Because black people got a rule. What's the rule? When, whenever black people fight one on ones, <laughs> people like with respect. They gonna stop when you get knocked out. They gonna kick you a couple times, talk they smack, and then they gonna head up out. Yeah. I don't know what John Cena gonna do. I don't know what he's going to do. I think DeMarcus Cousins would immediately drop me. <laughs> Maybe kick me a couple times, punch me, and then just talk and then walk away. Do you think John Cena's like I don't know. You, you be, hey, I don't know. We only know the John Cena that be marketed, the happy guy. I don't know what these white folk do. I don't even think. I don't know what code of honor they got. I don't even think he can fight for real, but I just think he big. A professional wrestler, <laughs> but he could take. Oh fuck, he is like a, he's taking like a stunt double, right? A professional wrestler can't fight. Well, he might not be able to fight. That's what I'm saying. Every, he could wrestle. He's definitely a wrestler. And her niggas fighting is wrestling. <laughs> they just drop niggas to the ground. First nigga, they, they go for feet. Oh, uh, I'm still getting John Cena, bro. I gotta get John Cena on man. his anniversary. Look how you violate <laughs> on his anniversary. Hey, shout out him, that, bro. That's crazy. So is he retiring? Nah, he like doing The Rock. He'll come here and there. Oh, like that? Does The little Rock little. even come back? I doubt he do. I don't know. I heard he's coming back, though, but he too strong. I know. He's it just, don't look as right. Bro. You think he do steroids? Yeah. Damn. Either not the big type of shit. Maybe like, you know, the little ones, like little vitamins that kind of got little steroids in it. Like, you ever seen, like, you ever, like, you ever seen, like, niggas that, like, um, they be in the NFL, they get, they get, like, suspended for doing steroids, but, like, they just take, like, some certain medicine that's for their surgery, mm-hmm. but they didn't know they had, like, a substance in it. I yeah, feel like he does shit like that. Yeah. I don't okay. think he actually, like, be pumping shit into his, like, arm and shit. Nah, I don't know about strong. that. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you're, like remember when we was watching, you watch Black Adam, right? Mm-hmm. Remember when he turned into, like, the little, like, a normal person? That shit looked fucking weird. Because <laughs> they, they, Captain America did that first. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And they looked, they looked cool. He looked cool, but, like, you when can't pick. The Rock pick, did it. Bro, The Rock has no neck now. Like, you seen his neck, that shit go like this. Yeah, um, shout out The Rock. I'm okay. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> I'm okay off that. I'll fight The Rock, though. You fight him? Over John Cena? You gotta get, you can't, no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not fighting The Rock over John Cena. I'm fighting John Cena. Yeah, you really think because he be smiling and then you can't see me <laughs> soft. You, you gay. It's a jean shorts for me, bro. It's the jeans. And Jordans. He's dangerous. <laughs> Fake Jordans probably he's he, got the, he got the flights on You forgot Thugonomics <laughs> the like Thugonomics. When he was a rapper Yo he's dangerous bro And the know. fucking arm sleeves bro I don't know Nah I'm taking I'm taking hits. John Cena bro He could take way more hits Than Cousins <sighs> like, bro, go, hey, go ahead <laughs> <laughs> Alright bro I heard they're re- remaking um, They're making like A big ass Power Ranger movie Like with all the Power Rangers Yeah I said that to the old heads I know I Really? Say, I say you go <laughs> Smile for today You gonna watch it? It's, it won't be the same without Tommy, bro. I, heard, I didn't even know that Asian girl died, too. The only Power Ranger show I really watched was the Wizards one. Really? And the original one. You didn't watch Di- uh, Dino Thunder? Barely. That was heat, bro. Barely. Ninja Storm? That was Barely. Like Dino Thunder no, and Ninja Storm. I, don't, I didn't watch Ninja Storm. I watched the original because I read the books, and then I watched the Wizards one, and I remember Dino Storm because of the, the belt buckle. I mm-hmm. don't remember the belt buckle. Yeah, that, I think those That's were the it. two popular ones. I remember I used to watch the first one because I, I had all the DVDs. Not the DVDs, the, the cassette tapes. But if you 28... Seven and older, you watch Power Rangers. Yeah, you definitely did. If you're under 27, did you really watch Power Rangers? I mean, I watch that because you we, watch reruns. Because the no, the Dino Thunder came out in 2004. Oh, okay, okay, so like it wasn't okay. like they all came out in the 90s. Some of the ones that I watched came out in like 2000, but then they kept going to like 2000. Like, I think they, they made one like 2020. I mean, they had a game that came out. It was really good. Really, like a video game or yeah, like a computer really game? It was like a video game. Oh, like fighting. Oh shit, it was really good. Mm. Don't matter to me though. You not buying uh, that? Ain't, ain't with that. <laughs> what Power Rangers? Like, tell the story of Power Rangers. Like, what is it? It's basically like, it's like exactly. Teen- look, look. You're not even excited. Look, look, to look. Tell it. <laughs> look, teens that get get powers and they just have to fight villains. 
wow, that's creative. It was at the time. I at the time, it. that's what I'm saying. But like now, I would, like, yeah, I wouldn't watch it now. But I feel like they're trying to they're trying to prolong it with these generation, this generation of kids. But they they forgot like these niggas don't even watch TV for real. The only show that really somehow made it, Scooby Doo. I don't know. That junk just keep coming back. So like, that I mean, normal show trash though. I heard, I heard it was. I heard, I heard it was terrible. trash. I heard Shaggy Black. Yeah, his name is Norville. <laughs> yeah, he got like dreads and, and they shit. Made, they made him a simp. <laughs> really? Yeah. For who? Velma? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Look how they do us. Is Scooby even there? No. That's ass. That's so crazy. Like who thinks of shit like that? Don't know. Bro. They're making and they're making like uh, extra seasons of the new Avatar. Yeah, twenty twenty. They got stuff for uh, people in twenty twenty four, twenty twenty five, twenty twenty three. I'm talking about the the Airbender shit. Yeah, yep. yeah. But so the, the next air, the next bender, the next what's Earth. the what's the the next avatar, avatar is, is gonna a, be an earth bender. Yeah, that's fire. And then they're gonna that means the one after that is gonna be a fire bender. Mm-hmm. That's, that's gonna be heat, yeah. bro. I hope he's emo. And I heard, <laughs> I heard they're making live action like a TV show. Yeah, they are. They've been saying that for years though, but they keep kicking the original writers out. I I just as long as it's not like the movie, that movie was so ass. Them, they did a whole stomp the yard routine. Yes. And picked up one pebble. <laughs> that looks crazy. That shit was so trash. Yeah, that the real action Dragon Ball Z movie. Yo. That shit was garbage too, bro. I heard the the Mortal Kombat movie was good though. The I the liked recent it. One? I, it was. It was a Street Fighter movie I watched growing up that was cool. Uh, no, I'm thinking of GI Joe. Never mind. There was was it the Rock GI Joe? Bro? Yeah, the Rock was in the GI Joe. Any swole body, big body leader role is the Rock, bro. The Rock, bro. It's the Rock. He's consistent. Hey, that's on. Hey, as long as he's consistent with this shit, bro. Hey, shout out to steroids. <laughs> Yo, he had a movie with like just some white dude in the forest. I think it's called The Rundown. You ever seen it? Mm-mm. So watch that. That's a good movie. No, I'm thinking of Batista. Never mind. Batista be in hella movies now. Now, yeah, I'm gonna say back then. No, nah, I'm, I'm thinking not. about because the Batista's in some new movie with like a it's like a gay couple. It's like it's like Batista and like three other people like go into like a cabin in the woods and it's like a gay couple and a daughter like their adopted daughter and they're trying to like. Batista and the people are trying to like convince them to kill one of them be- to like save the world. It sounds freaking weird. I don't wow. know. You think he's one of the best actor wrestlers? Him? Yeah. Oh. Um, best wrestlers turned actors between him, Cena, and The Rock. And The Rock. You just said it's still going to be The Rock. I think so. He got too many bu- blockbusters. I think movies. it has to be The Rock because yeah. he has a lot of blockbusters. Cena's on the come up though. I think that Peacemaker show was yeah, really that good. Yeah, that was it was good. It I never really, watched the Peacemaker really show. Good. It's on HBO, right? Surprised me. It was actually funny. Wow, well, really? Yeah, Cena got good. But time, he was you know? he was funny in the in the Suicide Squad. Yeah, he, he brought it with him. Really? I need to good. watch that. Yeah, because I, I mean, Batista is not that bad. Like he was in the new, he was in the the, the Glass Onion shit. He was. He did good. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Right, did you like that one? Yeah, it was cool. It was like, like, I don't think if it was better though. I think it was equal. See, I think I like it more because you guys told me like the. Killer in the first one was not who I would expect it to be. So me well, and Jay Jason would, told you that. But. Oh yeah, so, <laughs> so like me and Jay would just look at people that we would not suspect. So this who one, you suspecting? We actually, I guess, I said that the grandfather killed himself, uh-huh. and then Jay said it was the son. But like we didn't know how. That's what, that was our first guess at the beginning. It's I just said that I, I I thought the grandfather because he was like a storybook writer. He wanted his death to be like a like a story tale. So like he made like he fit, he killed himself, and then now they're gonna like blame it on this. It shit was like dope a, when like they was playing it back with like the dogs and how the dogs then that was dope. That's what I'm saying. Glass Onion was good. Oh, you like Glass Onion better? That's why I like that it because twist was crazy. That's too. bro with the the twin, the bro. Twin, yeah. I was like, yo, what? Watch those movies. Those movies that was a great. That was yeah. a good movie, bro. That's I was like, damn. Did you watch that in theater? Nah, you didn't watch it in theater. I, mm, no, you watched. Yes, the, I did. Because I remember you told me about. I the, did watch it in theater. You said the the nigga came up to you and was like, yo. Yeah, yeah nah, he nah, told nah. me to watch Clue. He was on my meat. Yeah. <laughs> he, would, he would not leave me alone, bro. That guy was mad annoying. <laughs> I ended up seeing Violent Night, too. Did you ever watch it? Oh, the that shit Santa with Santa Claus? Claus? Yeah. Did you like it? Santa was good. Was he really? Santa was good. Okay. Everything else was a little... Was it forced? A little gimmicky. Okay. okay. But it was dope, like world building. Like, it was dope. Okay, that's not cool. bad. I messed with it. I messed with it. I forgot. Me and Jay watched that Meg, uh, Megan movie. Is it good? It was okay. It was I want to watch good. it. It's, it's that that one part where she started dancing and killing niggas. That shit had me crying, bro. She did a Harley Quinn. It wasn't even a Harley Quinn. It was just like a like a. It kind of yeah. It was, was, a, it, was it was a Harley Quinn. Now was it, was it, it as good as Harley Quinn? Nah. Damn. It was, but it was pretty good. I like the concept of it. I like like the whole concept of the, like the movie. It wasn't pretty bad. Pretty good. But now the, the another good movie that we watched was um the new one uh plane. I think that's what it's called with um. Wait, who's in that? It's, Is it a black dude? It was a black dude. And then Gerald Butler? Yeah, yeah. I wanted to watch that. That's, That's a good, good. movie. That's oh, a good of course. Movie. I already know. I already know about the cast. I already yeah, know good that movies. That was a good movie. Bro. And that shit was in the Philippines, too? 
Yes, sir. Yo, what's up, Filipino. Man? I was I was like, yo, I was like, have you watched that shit? Like, ah. How do you think I felt watching Black Panther? <laughs> no. Bro, the new Black Panther Haitian. Oh yo. my god, here it's, we go. It's bro. lit. <laughs> too song, too song, right? Yeah. Day this day. I'm just waiting for a fucking Sung Chi to go to to the Philippines and get some new nigga, bro. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> then it's lit, oh. bro. Once we find a or the Black Panther's Haitian. Or if a fucking Disney princess is Filipino <laughs> now, bro. That's that's how you know we up. But if the thing about Black Panther 2, it just changed everything about Black Panther 1. Like it was like Af- basically African culture, like the strength thing and how they didn't need white people and da da da. They didn't yeah. want to exploit and give out their resources. Mm-hmm. Then it ended with them trying to help other black people in need. Mm-hmm. Then the second movie was just about Hispanics, not Mexicans. <laughs> it was about a bunch of Hispanics. <laughs> and then when you find it's a bunch, a bunch of female leads, there's yeah. there barely any men in the movie. Mm-hmm. And then it ends with now the new Black Panther isn't as, his roots isn't as fully African no more, Afrocentric. Mm-hmm. It's now Haitian. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> oh, I'll take it though. <laughs> You'll take it. <laughs> hey, shout out us. We up, yo. Haitian hey, Black Panther. As, as long as Kane the Conqueror just goes to the Philippines, bro, I'll be happy, <laughs> bro. I can't wait to see that Ant Man, though. When's that? This? No. Wait. Next month. Next month. February Next something. Month. February 17th. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably going to watch that with Jay. I need to go to that, that other theater with the beds. Yeah, okay. I went to that to watch Avatar. I would say don't get the beds because they're mad close. I want to be close. But like it depends on to the To my mo- partner or to the film? To the film. Oh. Like it's in the front front. That's that's like it's like like in the front. If it was in the back, people would be Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So like but like the one like in the, the, the seats in the back, they're like normal seats like this, but it's like you're in like a pod with like your person. Is it really nice though? It is nice. Is it worth that fifty minute drive? Um it's not fifty minutes. It's like I mean from Jay it's not that far. It's like <laughs> so like, so it might it, be, it might be type far like maybe like forty five, but like I I would be worth. That's it. your favorite movie theater? Nah, it's not my favorite. What's your favorite movie theater? Uh, Cinemark. Watch on. Yeah. Nah, I go to I go to Willowbrook. Is better than Watch on? Because Willowbrook, they you can pick your drinks and shit. Uh, the one in, in Watch on, like they give you your drink if you order online. Like you like you'd be like, oh, can I get this, that, and third? And Willowbrook, they have like more drink options. Oh. Nah, yeah, I mess with the Cinemark, yo. Bro, cin- yo, do you the have XD the- with the heated seats? Yo, yo, you have the Cinemark app? No, I you- should get it. It's worth yes, it. bro, you get free a free ticket every month. Really? Free movie ticket. My I mean, mom has that shit. I be using AMC the stubs. Nah, bro, but dude. AMC just so convenient, bro. If you get the, it's only ten dollars a month, and you get free tickets, a free ticket every month. And if you don't use that ticket, it adds on. So say you didn't watch a movie with that free ticket, you get another ticket next month. So you can just keep adding I up. Need, I, need, I need to get in a relationship first. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to add that many people go to movies with. Like, I get you. I get you. I'm supposed to do. <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. So I got another story to tell you. That's kind of, it's not, it's nothing too crazy. Okay. It's kind of like a movie. It's kind of like a movie. Okay. So this is a story about a woman that took on the cartel, right? So, okay. so this was a Mexican woman back in 2014, right? Her name was Miriam Rodriguez. And she was a 51-year-old woman, and she had a 20-year-old daughter. Her name was Karen. And Karen was abducted by the cartel, right? A 51-year-old woman had a daughter named Karen who was abducted by the cartel. Yeah. Some John Wick type of Yo, record. nah, it's, it's OD, bro. All right, tell so me. She got, so she got abducted, right? And, like, so Miriam would go to the cops, but, like, the cops wouldn't do nothing because, like, you know, they don't mess with the cartel like that. They can't really do too much. So, like, she started taking her matters into her own hands. But then she realized, like, they killed her daughter. So once she once they did that for three years straight, she would she would have fake ID. She would change the like her hair color. She would have weapons on her, and she would hunt down each person that like was involved with it one by one. And like they would either come up dead or they would um go to prison. And like she would stalk them for three years straight. Like she put at least I think she either killed or I don't know if she killed them either ten or at least ten to twelve people went to prison or died. That was a part of like her daughter being like kidnapped. Wait, what years like that. was this? 2014. This is mad recent. Yes, bro. But it's crazy because so she's been doing this for three years, like traveling around Mexico. Where is she now? She. Oh, I'm gonna get to that. Oh, okay. So three. So for three years, she's traveling around Mexico, like with fake IDs, weapons, um, changing her hair color, changing her look, just stalking these guys. And then until in 2017, it was on Mother's Day, she was gunned down in her home by I guess the the cartel and shit like that because of all the shit she did. But she died on Mother's Day, bro. Wow, that that should be a movie, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's not like Peppermint. That was a that's a movie. That was, so you know how like in movies, like the guy usually loses family, like the wife and the child. Mm-hmm. They did a flip where the woman loses the husband and the daughter, that's, and then the woman was going for revenge. Mm-hmm. 
I was like, you know me. I'm like, oh, bet. I'm like, I'm going to give it a chance. Like, <laughs> oh, you gave it a chance? I gave it a chance. Wow. I, said, I said, oh, bet. Wow. I said, bet. All right. This guy potential it was so trash. Really? It was so, it was, <laughs> Who was the lead? It was a famous actress, too. Like I Angelina Jolie? Type, like that level. Like, I don't even remember her name. Really? It wasn't good, though. It was the girl. You ever seen Daredevil, the movie? Um, The, the superhero Daredevil? Yeah. Hold on. No, I never watched the movie. There's a girl that was in that movie. It was that same girl. She looked like she looked like the girl. She Jennifer Gardner. Yeah. Oh, I know who she is. This movie was ass. Yeah. When this come out? Oh, it came out 2018. It's kind of trash. Damn, bro. It's kind of mad. That story you just said is kind of crazy though. She got 12 bodies. Tw- maybe, maybe like probably like four, but she's 50. She's doing this. She was shit. 50 years. She was old 50 too. years old, bro. Just going around just murking these the cartel, bro. You said they kidnapped her daughter. Kidnapped her daughter, and then she was went to go find her, but then she found out like they killed her and shit like that. That's crazy, bro. Jeez Louise. That's OD, bro. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Some of these movies could be like some real life shit, bro. Instead, we get slave movies. <laughs> that's just crazy. <laughs> Will Smith smacked one black dude. Now you got to make slave movies. I know, right? Oh, damn. Is that is that the new movie he's in? Yeah. My dad said it was good, though. It was about a Haitian slave. Oh, really? He was Haitian? Yeah. Was <laughs> so he, this is the year for Haitians, bro? I might watch it now. Hey, I bro. I heard the accent was terrible, though. Oh, damn. Like, he tried it? He tried it? Damn. It was bad, though. At least he tried, bro. Yeah. <laughs> What's trying for <laughs> like, Would you rather have him or Idris Elba? Who do you think would be <laughs> play a better one? Idris Elba. You think so? Yeah. All right, Idris Elba or Michael B. Jordan? Idris Elba. You think so? Michael okay. B. Jordan's not that good of an actor. You don't think so? You think he's overhyped? Yeah. I get you. I get you. I name one scene that, like, you felt for real. If I seen The Wire, I probably would have had one, but I didn't watch I never the watched The Wire. So I, I heard The Wire was good. He's in The Wire, but... Mm. Name one scene, like, Michael B. Jordan had you, like... i never seen Creed. Oh, really? No. I mean, Creed was just like, yeah. So name, name, a, name a scene Michael B. Jordan gave you. He was like, yo, this the next Denzel. Nah, actually, you're right. I, he really didn't do that for me. He's just good. He's really good. Yeah, he is. But, like, he don't pull out no emotion. I get you. I get you. Who do who you think is a good actor? Like, who's your favorite actor? That's black? Nah, just anybody. Denzel, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> you gotta laugh at my guy. Ooh. Uh, Adam love, Sandler? Yeah, I love Adam Sandler. Are you for real? Yeah. That's a crazy <laughs> guess. Bro, That's a crazy every guess. Every Adam Sandler movie is great, bro. I mean, I like his movies too, but. I love Adam Favorite Sandler. actor? The, okay, maybe I won't say actor. I'll say favorite. Like, he's. I love Adam Sandler movies, but I'll, I'll consider a favorite actor. That's a guilty pleasure. That's a guilty <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> bro, like, I, bro, I was he watching. He plays the same role. No, you don't. Like, he keep be funny. He played, like, two roles in all his movies. Like, what? Like, Funny Guy or, yeah. like, a, a rom-com? Yeah. The rom-coms be hitting, though. 50 First Dates? You ever watch Blended? No, I seen Click. Bro. Oh, Click Click was good, bro. Yeah, I know. That's, that's bro, like Blended was like, OD, bro. That that shit, Blended. It's like a movie where him and... I forgot what the, the girl's name. She was from... uh, What's that What's that movie with the three girls? They're, like, spies. Totally Spies? No, it's not Totally Spies. It's, it's a real-life movie. The... the the fa- not the fairies. It's like a baseball movie, isn't it? No, it's like they're actually spies. It was like, it was the blonde. It was a blonde lady, a uh, Asian woman, were and they her. Wearing all white. And one movie they were. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. What's that called? I don't know, bro. I don't watch that. I used to watch that when I was a kid. <laughs> Yo, but, good but to get up, it was bro. them two, and like they have like, so like they they went on a date before, and it's like their date didn't go well because his wife died, but her husband like divorced her. So like they have like they have kids. One has three. One has two. So they go to Africa. Because, like, her friend's boyfriend wanted to go to Africa with them. But, like, she didn't want to go with all that shit because he had kids. So, like, they start falling in love in Africa. They start doing all this shit. And, like, the the girl, Adam Sandler has all daughters. But, like, they don't have a mom no more because her mom died of cancer. So, like, they look at that girl as, like, a mother now. And it's, like, I don't know. To me, it was kind of sad. I was, like, that shit was him, my soul. But then the other, the other um... Girl, she has two boys, but their father doesn't be around. So, like, Adam Sandler's like a father figure. So, it was just like a match type of shit. And it was just like, you know, they, they blended. <laughs> you lost me at two white folk go to Africa. <laughs> you lost the me there. You That's ever watch um, Big Daddy? I heard of that. That was a good movie with the, the nigga from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Is that when he was playing a big brother? No, he was his father. Playing his father. and then They all the same role. Nah, so, bro. I mean, Adam Sandler, he could hoop, though, so... He can, he's bro, cool. he, bro, he's a cool dude, bro. Like I feel like I feel like when he's in a movie, that's how he is in real life. I feel like all right, so because you you didn't go for the top top, I'm gonna take it down a little bit. I'm gonna go for Jonathan Majors. 
I really that's the guy who was playing King. Okay. I really like he was in Lovecraft Country. Really? He was in another movie I saw. I think I think it was the Hateful Eight. He's in the new Creed movie, actually. He's in the new Creed movie. That's He's a, way better than Michael B. Jordan. Really? Yeah, so I I like him a lot. That's a good that's a good actor. That's tough, that's tough. That's a good actor. Mm. Adam Sandler, bro. That nigga always had a special place in my heart, bro. That big daddy movie, that shit I almost shed a tear for that shit, bro. Dang, them nigga. He taught his son to pee on the side of a building, bro. I did see that scene. <laughs> that I shit, didn't know what you talking about? That lit. That shit ass. Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Nah. All right, I got I got another question for you, right? Mm-hmm. So, which one of these survival scenarios would you rather try to get out of? So you're stuck in a blizzard in Alaska, one mile away from your cabin, but you're in your underwear, right? Or you're 25 miles out from the coast and you only have a life vest on. I can't swim. Can I swim? You can swim. Okay, you got to give me that, because then it was like, come on. It's bro. a life vest. Life vest, like, you're I not going to drop. but I can't swim. <laughs> like, I'm going to just be there. Nigga, just paddle your feet. I can't swim, bro. Don't don't, don't give me that option, right, and right, then right. I can't you, swim. You, you, can, then... you can swim. Okay, so one mile away from my cabin in a blizzard in my underwear. Yes. Or 25 miles away. Out, 25 miles out from the coast with a life vest on in the ocean. Which way is the, is the current blowing? I, you just gotta get to. You can see this. You can see the coastline. Which way is the current going? I have no idea. <laughs> no, nah, I might do the blizzard. But like, think about you in your underwear. But if in the blizzard, you really can't see shit for real. So now I don't know how to get to the crib, bro. Do you ever you see the blizzard? Right, it's one mile. I'm just gonna run straight. But if you run running, bro, the wrong I got direction. like I have to make it in two minutes. <laughs> I gotta run a mile in two minutes because if I don't, I'm gonna freeze to death. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think I'm gonna take the ocean. How I'll long? Keep... How long it take you to run a mile? Six minutes. If oh, I'm really, you run a lot. I'm, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. If I'm really trying, two minutes is not possible. It's not possible. Damn. <laughs> in the snow, cold. I got boots on. Boots you, in my you, boxers. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you boots in my boxers. I'll give you because the feet is not moving. <laughs> in the snow. I'll give you boots. Boots. So basically, like, I, like I've just got kicked out of some girls' crib because I was doing some <laughs> things. I'm in my underwear, boots on. Yeah. My jump a mile down. Yeah, but you don't know which direction. How long does it take the body to freeze to death? What two minutes? Let's see. How long does hypothermia last? Take the set in. Yeah, because How I'm, I'm thinking I could do that run. Hypo. If Pat Bev could run in Thames at the beach <laughs> for fun. Hypothermia can develop in as little as five minutes in temperatures of minus 50 degrees. <laughs> How cold is a blizzard? <laughs> you give me the research. How cold is a How blizzard? How cold is a blizzard in oh, Alaska? 25 miles in the water. Negative 18 degrees. Okay, you said negative 50. Yeah. Okay, that's doable. <laughs> that's doable. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I think I'm a. <laughs> I don't know. Still, I might. I might fuck around and do the, do the water just because I can see the coast. But if I get hit with the current, bro, it's that's deep. what I'm saying. You're just going deeper in the water. I know, but like you can't see. Like you can be in a blizzard. You might not be able to see that shit. Like see where the cabin is. One mile. One mile though. <laughs> like if you if you like left, right, straight, backwards, and you could last five minutes at negative fifty. But at least, I mean, but the, a blizzard average is negative eighteen. Look at the mathematics. I'm doing. <laughs> with my life on the line with Tim's on. With Tim's on, running full speed. <laughs> my <laughs> my body. <laughs> Why are you laughing at the Tim's? He said bad bad. Yeah, running in the running full speed. My body will naturally produce heat. <laughs> this nigga trying to make scientific. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I not, might do the blizzard, bro. Bro, I don't know if I can get there. What if you go the wrong direction? You nah, there's no. It. You can't add that. That's too crazy. What the fuck? You gotta give me one. Just run straight. <laughs> <laughs> run straight, Mark. Yo. No turns, cause that's too. Nah, come on. What you mean? It's cause a, if you in the water and it's going straight, don't even, ain't no turns. You just gotta swim straight. No, there. because they they have a current. Okay, you got wind in a blizzard. It's blowing against me. It's oh just resistance. God. Okay. That's why, so I don't know, but I might do the blizzard. I'm you gonna do the blizzard. blizzard? I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the water. But back. I could swim though, you said. So I'm thinking like I can't <laughs> swim because you know I'm thinking Yo, like I can't swim. You could, but you have a life vest on, so you're gonna be able to float. Just paddle your legs. What's that mean? Just paddle. Twenty five miles. Fuck it, right? Paddle my legs. Twenty five miles. <laughs> That's far as fuck. I'm so I could get like... halfway and then one current bring me back another fifteen <laughs> miles. So I'm supposed to do that and get pruned and get, not get tired. I know. And get thirsty in the sun. <laughs> That's such a sad death. Oh, that is a terrible death. <laughs> I'd rather give my arm running in Tim's and my boxers in a blizzard like Pat Bevenham. I'm going to be rubbing yeah. my hands. Just like, e, I'm going. Just like, no, take that. Yeah. Nah, that's cold as fuck, I'm doing bro. It. Negative 18? I'm doing it. How the fuck does that feel? But if I got Tim's on, 
But think about it. Look, look, think I'm about it. I'm going to take my socks off, put it on my hands. <laughs> then I'm going to run with socks on my hands, boxes, Yo, and boots. Fuck? Yo, think about it. Negative 18 degrees with the wind chill factor. You know, right, do the research. <laughs> you ain't about to say, nah, do some research. What the fuck? I ain't going to let you just get that up. Right, look, do the research. Says, do oh, the research. Oh, oh, all right. So look, it says, oh, so it's usually negative five degrees with the wind chill with low I'm, as negative I'm, 18. I'm up. <laughs> I'm up. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it. You got five minutes at negative 50. You think you can run that mile in five minutes? No, no, that's negative 50. It's negative eight. It's negative five. Oh, oh, oh okay. 18-ish. Five to 18. You could probably some okay if you're with my life on the line, I could run a mile under ten minutes. That's what with Tim's on. That's hard. That's what I'm saying with Tim's on. It's kind of hard. I'm gonna <laughs> die looking at the crib. Like, I'm gonna be crawling. <laughs> I'm gonna be right there. I'll make it in. Oh, uh, is somebody at the crib? Yeah, it's warm. You got. But warm. somebody's at the crib. What? So they're gonna like pick, if I'm here, no, you and have there, to, You have to get there. No, but what is, is somebody at the no, crib? No, nobody's at the crib. Because if I'm yo, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> yo, they're gonna open the door. They're gonna see me. That's say I'm good for sure. <laughs> Nah, nobody's at the crib. It's just, but you know it's warm. That's what I have, to, I have to literally. Mm-hmm. I might crawl to the door. Like, you gotta crawl to the. I might, you might be, barely. It's be, make it. Yeah, it's gonna be really close. I'm just gonna see. But the like, water's too hard, bro. But I'm just hoping that the current just push me this way. Like, I guess that's not in your fate. Like that's not. It's out of your hands. You can't control that. You don't, <laughs> you want, you don't want to control your outcome. I don't you don't. You can You never. You never experienced a blizzard in the last. That's, the wind could be co- crazy, my nigga. It could be. What if it's going with me? That's what I'm saying with the, with the current, I don't know though. if I'm going down the hill. I could just sit down on slide down some snow. You don't know how it's looking. So, dang, I don't know. Hey, fucking Water's just one thing. <laughs> ain't no down on it's just one thing. Hey, fucking What if you're floaty man. pop? Damn. Nigga, what if you What if what? <laughs> what if what? <laughs> My shoe come off? Like, what? I'm going to keep bro, running. Fl- yo, frostbite is, is crazy. Yeah, man. but that's when I'm there. <laughs> and I try to warm my hands up and it don't work, but Yo, I'm alive. That shit gonna fucking hurt, bro. Yeah, they're gonna. I'm gonna lose some fingers, <sighs> some toe. I'm gonna be alive though. I'm. I think I'm good, bro. I'm doing a blizzard for sure. I've Once seen, you I've, said the stats, I was happy. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've, I've seen. And niggas, you gave me Tim's, bro. I've seen oh, niggas oh, swim out to the oh, ocean oh. And randomly, like with no life vest, just swimming. Old nigga, he was like, he was like fifty, just twenty five miles. <laughs> How many miles can the average person swim before getting tired? <laughs> Uh, yeah, search that up. How <laughs> many? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Bro, I just say thirty. I know, right? Average. No, it gotta be like two, bro. Let's see. It gotta be two. It has to be. Ain't no Michael Phelps. Let's see. It says, "How far can an average person swim if their life depended on it?" <laughs> <laughs> it says the scenario follows. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, this is this awesome. shit on Reddit. Oops. Nah, that's just me. I just uh, ready to count, just chatting. All right. Uh, what they say though? What's their opinion? They said, um, I think that if you are reasonable, aerobatic, and physically shaped, you still have trouble making it much past a mile, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> he said you can't make it past a mile? <laughs> now, I'm going to give you 24 of those extra <laughs> and a floaty. And a f- <laughs> Come on, bro. I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping. You're hoping that the floaty don't pop. You're hoping there's nothing in the water that bothers you. This nigga altered my current, question, though. The current's going. Because I said you couldn't see the crib. I can't see the crib in a snowstorm? No. But it's a mile away. It's just give me an area where it's at. That's all I need. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You don't know which. That's why I would, that's why I would pick the fucking water. Because, but you could see where the shore is. That's not fair. What you mean? I'm 25 miles out. Then you better not be able to see shore. You might go the opposite what way. What the fuck? No, no, if you no, can't no, see, that, If that, I can't that, see the crib and I don't know where the crib is. But I'm giving is, you a you mile. You just got one, one direction. What happened to the wind blowing against me? And I don't know why. Nah, you taking that away? I give you Tim's. <laughs> nah, He was nah, in your nah, butt ass. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Yo. I, need just, I don't need to see it. <laughs> just like, go north. Just go That's all I need. Just give me like go one direction. <laughs> what know, what? Go here at that tree and covered in snow, make a left. <laughs> what? I got six minutes. Y'all don't got top of directions. <laughs> hey, fuck you. You got all day till you get tired. I don't have that. I gotta yeah, go. Hey, nah, bro. I need I need a spot. So you're gonna take the, I'm I still gonna go swim, bro. I'm doing a blizzard for sure. Anyone who not doing a blizzard, you don't want to control your life. You don't like controlling your outcome. <laughs> you gonna let water and Poseidon <laughs> and a little fishy poke your thing. <laughs> and then you just, like, no hey yo, no thanks. you got you got another question, bro? I got you. Cause I got what I got. What would you rather to never have existed? Mm-hmm. All the Call of Duty games or all the two K games? All the Call of Duty. Uh because we would have still had life. We would have still. We would have never known how good two K was. There's nothing outside of and Call of Duty. And there would have been another basketball game. That's a <laughs> that's a well thought out question. There would have been another basketball game. Um. Then I would say I would say two K then. 
But there is other shooters. <laughs> but like what shooters though? But nothing but was like there Call zombies? of Zombies? Was there Warzone? I mean stuff? Halo. Have, yeah, that's Xbox. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You would have never had that. I, um, and your girl played Call of Duty. She do. Didn't Call of Duty just make a billion dollars? Did they? Yeah, on that last Call of Duty, I think. Which one? Vanguard? Yeah, some one of them. I heard they made bad bread. I know, right? I <laughs> Ew. People just be like, oh, Call of Duty, bye. Nah, that, that, 2K, oh, bye. That's how it is, bro. Which one do you think made more money? Probably Call of Duty. Yeah, because of Warzone, definitely. Yeah. Call of Duty has to. So what would you rather get rid of? I'll get rid of... Two. I'll get rid of 2K just for the fact that they will, there needs to be another basketball game. You You're don't an athlete. He's an athlete. Yeah, I play basketball. He plays basketball. He's getting rid of it. I get rid of 2K. Because like, there's going to be another game. But there isn't one out. There... So like, as in like today or ever? But like ever, they would have never been. Oh, so okay. So, been, live would have live would have still been making. Li- I used to play NBA Live. Yeah, Live would have just been around still. I think I'll get rid of. I would get rid of Call of Duty. You think you would get rid of Call of Duty? There's Rainbow Six. There's other shooters. For me. There is Rainbow Six. Oh, there so is. I, I'd miss zombies though. But you can play. You can but play it wouldn't this. be that format. That format would have never existed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true. But I mean, who you really play zombies for like a month and you get tired of it? So okay, I think I'll do Call of Duty too then. Yeah. I get rid because I mean there is a lot of there is a, you got Fortnite you got fucking fucking um, what's the shit that we be playing again? Yes, yeah, Overwatch. Overwatch, yeah. I think we be playing Valorant. Valorant, yeah. yeah. What's that? What's that? What's the first uh, battle royale game that nigga started playing? Not before Fortnite. It was on PUBG? the phone. Yeah, PUBG. Yeah, there's PUBG too. So like, yeah, there's there's other things. I think I'll do. I think I'll take that. Yeah. So that was that one. <laughs> and if you had to lose all the music, like none of their music ever existed, would Which, you rather lose all of Rihanna's music or Nicki Minaj's? Oh, I have my answer, cause I, I'm like I'm state. I've been, I bought the albums. I've been there. Like I was outside. Yeah, you you you're good with the music. I, people. I already know who I'm repping. I think I'm 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 gonna stay with Nicki, bro. So you're gonna keep all her music. I'm gonna keep all her music. So you're gonna get rid of all Rihanna songs. <sighs> I think I might have to. Now if it was Beyonce or Nicki. Beyonce has some. <clears throat> Cause I know you we, know more ta- Nicki songs than Beyonce, so that's what's crazy. Are we, are we talking? <laughs> are we talking about crazy. when she was with the group too? Nah, Destiny's Child. Nah. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's all like. I mean, they only had that one shot. Like, I mean, um, me personally, I'm sticking with Nicki for for everything. That's what I was gonna say. I'm a Barb. <laughs> You're a Even Barb. Even though she fell off, I'm a Barb. She didn't fall off. She just had a baby. You know? Yeah, you know, she's she moved on to another phase yeah, of her life. But I'm a Barb. Pink Friday, like Roman Reloaded, all of those. Yeah, like, I, I think stapled, but. Rihanna might have like better songs, low key. I they know. do have. She might have a couple better songs, but I feel like Nicki Minaj songs was still. It but got, picking Nicki music over Beyonce music kind of crazy. Though. It is niggas gonna niggas might kill us. But I just like, damn. Nicki got a lot of genres though. You got, got she got singing, she got rap. Beyonce got dangerously in love and single ladies and love on top. Yeah, look what we getting rid of. <laughs> bees in the trap. Bees, bees, bees in the trap. That shit yeah, goes that shit was crazy. crazy. That shit bees went in the trap goes crazy. What was that? Seventh grade. Yeah, that was cra- that was good. That was good music. <laughs> was Damn, good. we just got rid of all of those songs. <laughs> in the, the trap. <laughs> I'm a I bar. Think, I'm a bar for life. Bro. I think I, I was stick with it. So yeah, it was that, and then I had this. Would you rather lose all love songs? And I know you love your love songs. Yeah, you know me. You lose all love songs that ever created that that genre is gone. Uh huh. Or every song that was ever made by somebody from New York. <laughs> I think. Uh, Damn. So Jay Z, Nicki, everybody from New York, ever all drill, New York drill. Pop Damn, smoke, Fifty Cent, Fabio, Fifty, every Eminem. Emin, no, nah, he's not from New York. He's from Detroit. He yeah, he's from Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. Ja Rule, Ashanti. I can't. I think. I can't of, over all R and B. No, not R and B. Love, love song. songs. Oh, love songs. Love songs like the breakups and I miss you. All the love. Nah, all those, I can't. All bro. the songs with emotion. Nah, I, I all need the nineties. The good. Nah, life. I gotta keep the love songs, bro. So you getting rid of Jay Z? All everybody that ever been from New York. Yeah, fuck Jay Z, bro. That nigga go, bro. And Nas. <laughs> All yeah, of that. Nas could go too, bro. To they sing go. Tank and Tyrese? Tank, Tyrese, Mario. I'm singing them niggas till I die, bro. Yo, there's probably some crazier people from New York that we just don't even remember. I know. Who else is from New York? I don't know. 50? It's 50. Well, you go through them. Let me see. 50, Nas. Okay, yeah. let me let me look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got 50, Nas. Uh, ja Rule. Ja Rule. Nelly's not from there. Casanova? You want to- Casanova from there. Lil TJ, A Boogie. Damn, that A Boogie one hurt. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like a stab. Yeah, that one hurt. Oh. Artist goes crazy. Um, damn, Stun Gambino. Oh damn, Pop Smoke. You know I love me my New York rappers, bro. Yeah, all of New York. Nicki's gone too because she's from New York. Slick Rick. 
Dies. Man, Method Man's gone. Big Pun. Oh, I thought I said Big Pun. Big Pun died. Yeah, he's from New York. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking about somebody else. ASAP Rocky. Damn. Joey Badass. Damn. DMX. Damn. Cardi B. DMX. Cardi oh, B. Uh, P Diddy. P Diddy from New York. Yeah. We losing his music. Oh wait, maybe not because it got Tupac on this shit. French Montana, he could be out of here. <laughs> Q-Tip. Dave Yo. East. Chef G. B. Love. Cameron. Oh. Damn, Chef G. B. Love is crazy. Lil Tekka. Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Lloyd Hollow. Banks. Oh, damn. Dang. Like G-Unit. Damn. Damn. I used to love that G-Unit video game, though. Yeah, we probably sound crazy. I know. <laughs> We're nah, picking love songs. I'm picking love songs, bro. Damn. My Mario, that breakup song. Oh, 50 Cent, though? Oh, 50 Cent. 21 questions? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I might, I might, Why I might get rid of love songs. Break up? No, I can't say that because Cupid. Cupid, that song goes crazy. Yeah, does it lie? I need to ask like a New York rapper. Bro, that I need, shit. I need them. Oh, Joe Budden. No, he's from Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> save. <laughs> no, 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 no. Save no, them. You gotta save him, bro. You gotta save a couple they, niggas. So New York and Jersey, we gonna separate them? Yeah, we gonna separate for this one particular. Thing. I'm gonna say SZA low key gone too. <laughs> you know she's from Jersey. Nah, I'm, we go keep it. We go keep her in Maplewood, bro. Cupid, the I don't know. I guess I keep Brian love McKnight. Songs. That back to one. I used to watch. I used to listen to that shit over and over when I was like four years old. That's what I should ask UJ when I talk to him. Yeah, that's a good question for UJ. Yeah, see what that's, that sounds like it was for UJ. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I wonder. What, I, no, I feel like he's not gonna get rid of like the New York the the love songs. You think he's gonna keep all the New York songs? I think so. No, no, no! I think he's gonna he's gonna get rid of the New York songs. Where's Shorty Shorty from? Cali. Oh, 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 I think he's from Cali. Oh, 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 oh. And he was just talking about how Drake, like, he be in love with Drake. Damn, yeah, we would lose all Rod Wave songs. Wait, Rod Wave not from New York? No, but he made love songs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, all his breakup and love songs. Nah, you can't. We would have lost Marvin's room. Oh. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. Nah, you. But can't. they would have their other songs though. They would, but like them songs hit, bro. You just need certain songs for like. Like, you know, when you're chilling, just imagine, bro. K Camp. Don't look at me like that. Don't look, don't look at me like that. I'm bringing it back up. K Camp goes stupid, bro. What are you talking about? K Camp. I love, love songs. Yeah, bro. What's his love song? This blessing. Blessing. Hey, blessing. Comfortable. That's Buddhist, man. <laughs> talk over A Boogie. Huh? Nah. Nah, I want to do over A Boogie. Like, if it was. Uh, yeah, K- come on. yeah, nah. That's, that's crazy. But, like, still, that's my shit, though. I feel like I'm gonna bring that question back. I'm gonna put love songs versus artists. And I'm, I'm gonna bring it back. I'm yeah, bring, bring it back, back for the next one. We'll put a bracket. That's, that's, that's a <laughs> bring it back for the next one. That's good. That's and good. And then for my last one, I have Would you rather miss a wide open game winning shot for a high school championship mm-hmm. or get knocked out in front of your girlfriend? <laughs> Immediately into a fight. Immediately. <laughs> like just off rip. Like, yo, watch out, yo, I got you. And boom, knocked out. Like right in front of her. <laughs> No, she'll remember it forever. Now knowing Jay, after that, I think she would like. <laughs> I hope she watches this. Uh, no, nah, I can't. I think I'm. I w- was I going stupid in the game, or was just like? Now you just wide open. Oh, <laughs> wide open game. High school championship though. I think I'll do that. Wide open though, game winning championship for your high school. I'm everybody just, was everybody swore he was gonna make it. Like you wide open. Oh my like, god! Oh, you just missed like terrible. Like oh side of the backboard. Oh my fucking god! Like, that's so it. that's crazy. What the fuck? Yeah, you just missed. Like side that's of, crazy though. Like like a shot or a layup? No, like a shot. Okay. Like a shot. But it's wide open. Wide, like extreme. But it was like a terrible miss, like a bad it miss. Was, like so bad. <laughs> and everybody thought she was gonna make it. And that's for the fuck. championship. Or getting knocked out in front of my girl, bro. Yeah. That's cr- like off the rip. Like I didn't even get a swing. No. <laughs> you just got it there. Yo, you talking? That's it. That's it. Straight just like that's it. You just knocked out, boy. Yo. You know she might not say nothing, but she'll always remember. She will always remember and that. Like, she's like, she, your girl feel like you can't protect her. But then it's like you gonna remember that high school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they gonna know you in the high school for that. <laughs> Other the high school's gonna know you. You might be on Sports Center. Nah, I fuck around, be on that shit. <laughs> yeah. I might fuck around, be on like you ever you ever watch them little niggas, them niggas on um TikTok that be like uh looking at like the funny moments of sports when they do some dumb yeah. shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be on them shits, yeah. bro. And it's you though, so that would eat at you too. You know how I be, bro. Yeah, that would eat at you. That's nah, why I, I think, asked you. I don't know what you. Rather. I think I I can't get knocked out, bro. You gonna, I was gonna put college championship. Nah, I do high school. I think but I, you know, I, I knew college. You'd have been like, nah, knock me out. In, <laughs> I knew, in, I knew nah, in college. college, in high school, I would I would have gotten over it and like. 
in like maybe like a couple months, like six months. What about college? <laughs> like NCAA. Like, Damn, NCAA far, championship. Yeah. Uh, Get a ball to Darius in the open, in the corner, wide open for three uh, to win the championship for New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Like just backboard, come back, like, just like, like crazy Paul joke. George type of shit. Yeah, like, like, I, like I was like in the corner, that shit inside the Wide backboard. Wide open, just bad. Yeah. Nah, I, st- I can't get knocked out, bro. That's old. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong just, with like, you? just imagine, like, just like picture me. Like, I'm going in. I get folded, my nigga. Yeah, it's one punch. That's bro, I get takes. folded. Like, just imagine, like my legs. And your body, all your body back. go like these. Yes, like, your bro. body. But she go lip. Nah, I can't, bro. I can't get knocked. That's crazy. What if your girl wasn't there? Then you get knocked out. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, what's great? Jay can't be there to see you get folded. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants to go to see him. That's crazy. That's OD, bro. Get She's going to tell her friends. She, pff, nah, if she had friends, I don't think she would have. Nah, I don't think Jay would tell her friends. She don't really got friends like that. She'll tell her parents, though. But, but, she'll, okay, oh, she'll somebody tell her parents. Somebody has to know. But, but I don't Dang, know. Her dad going to look but at you different. <laughs> <laughs> can't protect his daughter. <laughs> you, know, you got one punch. Nah, that would be, especially if it was like some little nigga. Yo, that's bad. Damn. Like, what Put if a wide open shot? What if it was a layup? Oh, a layup is crazy. Like, if it was if it was like NCW, that shit going on. That's going on like like a oh, documentary. Yeah. You famous for that? <laughs> that's trash. You're and then I'm gonna have to live with that for the, the rest of my life. The Larry story that could have been. Oh no, nah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to miss the shot, bro. I still can't get knocked the fuck out. Yo, look at guys' <laughs> pride. Yo, his <laughs> pride can't. is crazy. I really can't, bro. Yo, sometimes that's... they just get a lucky punch, bro. But imagine getting folded. Like the picture I have in my mind is insane. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. It looks crazy, bro. Folded yeah, is it looks, in, bro. It looks crazy. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> oh my fucking god! If it was bro. me, I'd rather I'd rather miss the shot too. I'd rather miss the shot, right? Because yeah. then I would, I would have to break up with my girl. <laughs> so <laughs> we broke up. You saw that? Oh, we broke up. Ugh, <laughs> nah, nah, that's nah. crazy, bro. Nah, I can't have her bring that up in an argument. No, nah, I can't. <laughs> I can't. That's crazy. Unless I was like with Ice Spice or something. <laughs> then I'll stay with her no matter what but, but um, I bet she brings that up in an argument I'm gonna just be like look bro she's just gonna look at you differently she'll dead look at you gotta differently gotta eat at me too yeah like damn I can't even tell her what to do like imagine like a, like a similar situation comes about or like she, she talks about like yo this guy talked like was talking to this dad what third. if he's working out too and like you some big dude and yeah. she see that there's nothing you could do exactly no matter how much you work out she'll always think like you soft <laughs> <laughs> t- that's crazy. I hope she watches. I want to see. What, I want. I'm gonna ask her this when we're done. Yeah, ask her what she. I'm asking tomorrow. She, she got. She got workouts in the morning. She just saw sweet. that. Like you just get knocked out trying to protect her. Because <laughs> I, do, I feel like she'll look at me differently. Yeah, she would. Like folded. Not like one punch. I ain't even say punch. you put up a fight. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's not like I hit him. No. I just get. I go and like. Yeah. And then just like lean back, like my legs all under me and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the image I have in my mind, bro. Like, like folded like that, like a chair, my nigga. I got, I'm about to ask some girls, like, they, break up with <laughs> they, got, like, they wouldn't break up with nah, them. Nah, they would look at them differently. But they though. would look at them differently. They would look at them differently, though. And that's going to last for, for a long, long time. Like, they, like in the mind, in the back of their mind, like, when their boyfriend try to act tough, they're going to laugh in their mind. <laughs> so would so I miss shot, though. People going to be in your comments. Yeah, but the I feel like. The whole town is going to, like, just be. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like there's going to be people that's going to feel bad for me, also. Did they feel bad for Playoff P? No. There's... Do they feel bad for Ben Simmons? No. Mm. You were wide open. <laughs> That's true. God damn it. I lay up too. I lay up is crazy. Come on. Oh my god. That's funny. That's a, that's some good shit though. That, yeah, I don't know. That you, was crazy. Bro, but speaking of that, you heard of freaking Dana White's new like slap box league, bro? I didn't know he owned it. Yeah, he owns it now. Like he made a, a completely different one. Like with like it's like UFC, so it has weight classes. It's like Wait, got, so I remember when we would see like two years ago, he made his own, mm-hmm. or he owns it now. He made his own league. Oh damn, white people. No, bro. Like it's oh, like wow. there's weight classes, like like heavy weights, and they're like, bro. I seen this nigga face was like drooping. Yo, the swollen dude. Yes, that was bad. That's, that was I'm like, bad. bro. You think I can't? Do, I wouldn't be able to do that shit, bro. You would do it for what? Think about you in your high school. You did it with your high school. I would do it like if there was a, if that was a thing. Yeah, I can't. I can't. You I wouldn't know. do it with professionals, bro. That but shit, if it was at your school, that shit would fucking like a hundred k. You know they, they probably you can't. Tried it. They, they definitely nah, get, you wouldn't have. They definitely get concussions, bro. Would you try it? I don't think I wouldn't try it, bro. I wouldn't try it. I don't want to get smacked. What if it was to protect Jay's honor? Okay. Then you're doing it. Then you're doing it. But like, like that's, after, hurt. that's what I'm saying. But like after I seen that, I seen other shits, bro. I seen you ever? There's a thing called car jutsu. It's like, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh. bro. It's card like you're you're in a car, right? Strapped in, like you're what, here. You said car jutsu. Yeah, car jutsu. Card. Nah, car jutsu. So you're in a car, like, in, with your seatbelt on it, like, in the front, you're in the passenger, your opponent's on the driver's side. And they blow the whistle, you gotta get out, and you gotta beat each other up. I saw that. Bro, and, like, they be, ch- clip of that. They be choking each other with, like, the seatbelt and shit How like that. How do you that. lose? You gotta either tap out, get knocked out. 
It's, like, it's just like UFC, but in a car. So they're both sitting with seatbelts on? You could take it off, though, but like niggas no, take... No, but it starts with the seatbelt yeah, on? Yeah, it starts with the seatbelt on. I don't know who comes up with shit like that. I seen that. I seen payphone bo- boxing. Like they were boxing in a payphone booth? Yes. Like niggas got knocked down like 30 seconds. Like they were like punching like... And they're like like close quarters. Like just like really just like, like punching each other in the face. That shit was OD, bro. What is wrong with men? I don't know what... Like I think that's some Russian That card YouTube... Might check that out, though. Nah, low key, Punch that shit kind of looked tough. <laughs> Go ahead, every, car, every, every everybody gets like choked out by the seatbelt. Really? That's like the per- that first person that gets gets out, they grab the seatbelt and just like choke them out with it. Every time. Most of the time. Most of the time. That's how it be. Like what they, they hit them with like hit them with one punch. But, like, what they, they put the, the seat back. What kind? Oh, I never seen it? nobody do that though. Is, is it one of the buttons? So they like. I don't know. It's a, it's a or is old, it like a drop? I don't, that drop could it come It might in be handy. a drop because it's like an old looking car. Yeah, that drop might come in handy. Yo, that'd be cheese. That'd, that'd be a ju- nice for like you just person. dodge it. Boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. Like if someone lean in and you put the thing in. And that's hard. That's deaf, bro. That's smart. That's white people. You seen black people in it? Mm-mm. I seen black people in the um, slap boxing one, though. Yeah. Come on. Black yeah, yeah, you know. People, people do that in bathrooms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I got. This is my last would you rather question. So would you rather wake up every morning in a different timeline, as in like, not like tomorrow, but like a century, like in the 1900s, 2000s, 2010s, 1500s, BCs, a different timeline, but you still have the same people around you. Like I'm still there, but it's like we're adapted to that timeline. Or before you go to bed, you have to fight a random animal that weighs more than you. If I lose weight. Okay. It has to be over 100 pounds. Every single night before you go to bed, you have to fight an animal. And it's a random animal every time. And what was the first part? Wake up every morning in a different timeline. Every morning. Every morning in a different timeline. So 365 different timelines. Yeah. So like you'll, like one morning you might wake up in 12 BC. So either way, it's every day. Every day. Every, both situations every day. Do I have like, like weapons? You can have weapons for the animals. But it's like, like how, like what weapons, it's going to come to your door. Will I die? Yeah, you could go into a different timeline. You might not, but like you. But, but is it possible? It's possible. Well, if I go to this timeline, oh, we're in Japan. The nuke comes. Something. Yeah, but it's like shit like that. Like that's it's it could happen. But like you could go back to slavery for a day. You can go to fucking wow. Until I go back to sleep or until the day's done. That's like the whole day. Oh, damn, about to nah, not sleep. <laughs> nah, you can't go ahead to sleep. It's good changing, bro. Any period in time. Any period in time. Just a century though. Like. Like in the two like two thousands, you can go back to the two thousand. You can be in nineteen nineties, eighty, seventy, sixty. Could be in eighteen forty. Oh yeah, you could be in eighteen forty. Nah, I can't do it. You think you're gonna fight the can't animal? Do it. Can't be on a boat. <laughs> can't be a slave. I can't do it for ninety four a day. Damn. So you're gonna be on like, fighting animal? I fight animal. Can't do it. That'll I be- can't live how I'm living right now, and then wake up on a boat. <laughs> change around my ankles <laughs> and mentally be okay. That, yeah, no, that's kind of nice. I can't live how I'm living now, then wake up tomorrow in Japan and all I hear is sirens. Like, oh, yeah. I can't do that either. I can't do that either. You wake up, it's like World War II, you're I in the trenches. I can't do that. I can't wake up tomorrow and it's like 18. But like, what if you like about to go to sleep? Can't do it. You about to go to sleep, you see a tiger. It's okay. It's okay, you rather that? It's okay. You rather go out, go out swinging? I'm not going out. I'm saying I'm going oh, out. Oh, you going out? Oh. Them weapons, get them things <laughs> on me. I, I think I think I'll fight the animal, but low key the timelines. That, like if uh, if we were all in there, just imagine you wake up like we all just there, bro. Imagine you wake up, you see on TV Martin Luther King doing his walk. It's yeah. live. Mm-hmm. That's some white people burn your house down. You dead? <laughs> I ain't even doing nothing. I'm not even from here. I just won't go. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing. It. I fight a chicken. I fight, you said any animal over a hundred pounds. But like, but like, like think about it. I fight. I fight. I fight. I you might fuck around. Me. It might be one day. It might be a pig. Keep a shotty on me. Yeah, that's fine. But like, some animals could be taking shotgun bullets. Bear gonna, yeah, when that bear, Wait, it don't just like appear in front of my face. No, nah, like it's gonna be like at your door. It's gonna be like, but you're gonna yeah, have to fight it to go to sleep. It's gonna you go knock on that door. You feel me? Yeah. I'll open that door for you. But some some animals might not be taking bullets, bro. You never know, bro. I'm gonna put a bear trap in my front door. You gonna put a bear trap? Start with handicaps. <laughs> you gonna. Like, you gonna <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's time Take the cover off Come down shoddy That's tough that's Have tough. a string on the door Open it like that From a distance <laughs> I'm gonna use tranks actually Tranquilizer darts I have five Ten of them Ooh that's kind of cheese Any animal Put ten boom, 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 And boom, then boom. Ooh that's cheese I'm just avoid for a little bit Ah, uh, he calm And then kill him right Shotgun there Shotgun to the face Oh that's cheese That's, that's, my, that's that, my You plan. kind of finesse Yeah that's my I that's, think I'll do that now I'll do that's, that That's now. my plan Right in the, the trains, Cause the other, the other weapons Might take a little minute yeah, They yeah, gonna yeah. get angrier Yeah <laughs> I ain't got time for that Yeah I need shit. them to sleep Yeah so bro So boom 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 
We could do that. Damn. Or some bro. poison. Put some poison in them. Mm. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That's tough. I think I'll do that too. We I think I'll do that, that too. We work that. Dang, yeah, bro. That's what I do. All right. All right. So now I got a, I got another thing. This is the last thing we could talk about, bro. Mm. Can we survive these movies that were either based on real life events or could possibly happen? Mm-hmm. So I have a list of movies that we're going to talk about if we can survive. Just me and you. Yeah. So just the, me and you, though. Yeah, just me and you in the movie. But like we're part of, like we're in the scenario. So the first one is a Titanic movie. What you mean by that? What? Like we in the movie? Not like no gay shit. Oh, I was, I was like, yo, <laughs> you made me stop drinking and you just stopped talking. <laughs> oh, so we just on the Titanic. Yeah, like it's sinking. And we're on it? Yeah. How many people survived? I don't need stats. I always no, it was, stats. it was mad people though. That survived? No, there was mad people on the boat. Like it was type shit like women. Wasn't there, ch- like, wasn't there poor people on that boat? No, I think it was all rich people. Okay, I thought it was poor people on that boat and they all died. Like the workers. It was all the men, all the women and children stayed on the boat. Was the only people that on the boats, but like some guy had like a piece of driftwood. That's how we died, like Leonardo DiCaprio. So me and you are supposed to survive. Yeah, I'm not dying. I, I think I, could, I think we could. I could I'm, think I'm not dying. When I'm you know me. I'm, a, I'm pretty devious. Yeah, I think I'm. You go. I, I'd get me a boat. You go like, I, like you I, gonna steal it. a boat or you gonna throw some people off the boat? I'm gonna just do a speech. <laughs> I'm gonna be. You gonna be next to me and be like us as men. We need to protect the women and children. We're going to paddle this 15 miles north. I'm going to say, we're going to paddle this so we can do it. The rest of the men, yeah. Man, type shit? Yeah, type. You already know. Yeah, hey, type. It, it See that? It is. I, I'll take that one. I'll give a speech like that. You know, I can, I can Yeah, yeah. Off. That's, I, I take that's that. pretty easy for me. All right. How about the strangers? Like the movie Strangers? That's the people that just showed up at the crib? Yes. And it's just this murking niggas. And it's just me and you. Just me and you in the crib. So like this podcast and then some people pull up. Yeah, like they're like oh, surrounding we, the door. We did. Yeah, I think ah, bro, they was crazy. Yeah, we did. How did the people live? I don't. I don't, I don't think they lived. Remember? Lived. Yeah, I don't, they didn't I live. Don't think they lived. They called them at the end, and they just tied them up and just like they killed them at the end. I think we did. But like, you don't think we could like run away, bro? Run where? I don't, like right now? Like you say they're around? Like you don't think we could like escape? think about your house? They are at the front door. <laughs> we could jump over to the fence. One of your parents opened the front door. And then he just... Where are we going? Look, right, look, think, look, look, think, think of the room we're in. All right, look, think, think right now. Where are we walking look, out? Look, 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 look. All right. You're going to open the garage door like this, press the button, and just wait? Nah, look. All right, this is what we got to do, right? Mm-hmm. If there's three people, we got to hop out this window because there's a car right there. So the you have tr- your keys in your pocket? The keys is... I think the keys is right here. Does this door have a lock? No. That's why we got to do it quick, though. So we got to hop out this window. We got to land on the car and either got to book it, either up that way where Wawa's is, or you got to go towards like where Jordan Crib is. No, let me do this again. <laughs> so your parents open the door, <laughs> right? <laughs> who, you, who you want it to be? Your mom or your dad? I even let you pick. I pick, God oh, damn. I pick <laughs> my dad. Want okay, pick your my dad. dad. Your dad opens the door. Yeah. He sees them three. Mm-hmm. What they do? Probably stab them on sight. Yeah, probably stabbed on son. He backed up a little bit. I ain't gonna say he weak like that. <laughs> so I ain't gonna say he just died. He lost immediately. He backed up. He screams. We hear it like we hear it right now. Yeah, you're saying that the first thing you're gonna do is jump out the window, <laughs> hearing your dad scream right there. No, my first. I want to see what would happen. Okay, going you're on. gonna see what's happening. But like, they didn't have guns. They had. But they knives. were kind of weird. They, yeah. All three of them would just stare at him. That's what I'm saying. And you would see it. But like, that's what I'm and saying. You the- would leave your father. Damn. <laughs> look, look. Okay. Cause it sound good. <laughs> but I'm thinking if you open the door but, and see your dad get stabbed. <laughs> look, look. Would you turn back around? Open yeah, I would. Window? I would like. I have, I'm gonna have to call the cops though. So you would stand there and call the cops? No, no. I'm gonna I'm hop out the thing and call the cops. Like, so run. we're confirming you would see your dad get stabbed and you would turn around. Like, but and like, walk back into your room. How many niggas there? Three or two? It's three of them. Three the of them. Damn. Them. Wasn't the mom, the dad, and the kid? Yeah. Yeah, three of them. Fuck. Yeah. So you're saying that you would turn back around. I'm assuming you would slide that over. Or I would do that because you're yeah. dumb if you don't because you have got a lot. <laughs> you would block the door. Yeah. And before you would jump out the window, mm-hmm. you would then have to get your sister out the window. Yeah. Maybe you just got to jump, bro. Not even and then lie. I would have to jump. <laughs> yeah. And then you would have to get out the yeah, window. Yeah, bro. Type shit, bro. And you don't think they're just going to like just turn around? You don't think so? I mean, they only have, they didn't have guns, did they? They didn't. What if they what they slashed all the tires? They was probably doing stuff like that. Like they can't they ain't catch him. You can run though. That's what I'm saying. Damn, Libby. <laughs> yeah, bro lost all his family. <laughs> Fuck, bro. I don't think we get in that one. You don't it think depends. So? It depends how fast you move. You you the you the X Factor. I'm the X Factor. The the group? Group. Cause I don't even need to open the door to do. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna go straight out the window if I hit some crazy jump. I'm looking out this, I'm immediately looking out this window like I don't need to check your father. You need to check your father. <laughs> That's true. Fuck. Like you need to. I'm dipping. That's realistically speaking, though. Uh, That's all right. realistically speaking. All right, all right. If you left out there and didn't come back, all I could do is get your sister out the window 
and pray for her. <laughs> I'm getting out the window. I ain't even looking for her. I'm just going my own route. A fucking, and I just leave that to you. A fucking, so I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. That's a little... With strangers? I don't know. Oh, that's tough. It right, depends how, about, how long your dad lasts for real. That's all, yeah, type shit, type shit. <laughs> he need to hold it down. Type shit. All right, how about, how about 12 Years a Slave? Bro, I've never seen that movie. Let me just tell you a little Did you hear what you just said to me? I know. I don't think I'm going to do it. But it's like, 12 Years a Slave? It was it, it was the one where he got kidnapped from from the North and got sold to slavery in the South. Can you ask? So I'm a slave. You're a slave, but no. can you like escape? No. You don't think you can escape? No. Anything slave? No. I'll be on there with you. I don't want to be a slave. But I want to... I, wanna... I don't want to be a... No, no, <laughs> master. No, no, no. I don't want to be a slave. No want to yeah. do it. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Please, master, I'm sorry. No, I can't do it. No, no, no. Can't do it. All right, nope. respect, respect. 12 years. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, not doing it. Sorry. sorry. All right, how about, how about The Martian? You ever watch that mar- movie? I don't remember some guy stuck on the Mars. Yeah, he was stuck on Mars, it's but he was by himself. So me and you have to live on Mars. How long? We have to just survive until they come and get us. Do they come to get us? I don't even remember. I think they eventually did, but like he was there for like a, like two years. Like he had to figure out how to make like. I think honestly, I think we're gonna die because he had to figure out how to grow shit. He did. I think we're gonna die. At least one of us can know that. Come on, give us. Some okay, we're gonna be scientists. Yeah. So okay, like, come All on. Right. Are we in space? Like, yeah, come yeah. On. Type shit. Okay. So we scientists. Yeah, we're scientists. You I'm assuming we di- we have different skills because why would they put the same science? Yeah. In there? So we have different. So like skills. I'm a biologist type shit. You're like the you're like the, you know, know about the terrain and shit like that. So I'm the one that's gonna figure out. You're just gonna make sure like you, we can't go out certain things in the sandstorm. Did we? Did they? Wasn't they? Wasn't he dealing with oxygen issues? Yeah. But like he he grew like plants to produce oxygen. Okay. 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 So it's all up to me, <laughs> like type shit. How many years? That's th- really. Important. I think he was there for like two, like maybe like a year or, or some change. But it took him a mile. We couldn't do it, but one of us would live. You think so? Yeah, for sure. One of us would live? Okay. Because I remember a lot of shit used to, like, he. it was going good for a minute. Like, he was chilling, but then some shit happened where, like, his fucking rover broke down. Shit, like, an explosion happened in the thing. So, like, all the shit, all the crops, like, died out. So, like, shit, that's that's the possibility that could happen. Yeah, I think one of, uh, yeah, I think one of us could. Okay, okay. I think one of us. And the last one is No Escape. The movie with the, the family when they went to, like, that little... That little country and like the terrorists started killing all the Americans. <laughs> That's a crazy thing. Yeah, and I don't think I could survive that. But I'd be thinking that scenario all the time, bro. I would have to su- well, just me and you though. Yeah, just me and you. I don't got a family. No, it's just me oh, and you. Okay, me and you. Like, so you don't have no kids that's yet to like. Do we know how to use weapons? I mean, yeah, there's weapons around. But so. do we know how to use weapons? If I say, "Yo, get on the roof with a sniper," could you shoot the sniper? Or that be your first time shooting a sniper? I say mediocre. I mean, we're not the best, but we we're capable of doing it. We're average. Yeah, we're average. Okay, like you know we go to the gun range once in a while. Okay, okay, okay. Are we in shape? We are just who we are now. I'm I'm type out of it. I'm not, actually, I'm, I, I think I'm I'm more than an average human in shape. Can we fight? We can fight back, but I'm just saying, like, are we able to escape that scenario? But are we like are, is our fight skills good enough to defend ourselves against like a terrorist? Yeah, because you say right now I've never fought a terrorist, my brother. I don't know. What I'm just, about I'm just saying, like, say we're in like a hotel, right? Yeah, and they're like invading the hotel. We're on the top floor. Are we gonna be able to get out that situation? Well, out the hotel, because they then they have to leave the country. They had they had to find <gasps> find a way out the country. Yeah, but that's like, so crazy. Give us a yeah. Let's do a hotel. We'll do the hotel. Let's do a hotel. Like we're in invading. a hotel, and we gotta get out of the hotel. Yeah. Are you listening to me? I would like. If I'm we, ask, that's an important question. Are you listening? to yeah, me? Yeah, I listen to you. Are you having panic attacks? No. <laughs> Am I having panic niggas in my pussy? I'm just, I, I, I've dealt with some people that had panic attacks. What the fuck? Yeah, that was so annoying. Hey, yo. I mean, no, everybody has panic attacks. It's okay, man. I understand. <laughs> I'm just trying to. Puss in Boots, good movie. They displayed it really nicely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think we'd be all right. Will we fight back or will we try to escape first? We're in the, we're in the high floors, too. You got to remember. So they're climbing up. I think we'd be all right. Think so? I'm going to have a good ideas. You'll have good ideas. Yeah. I just got to make sure you're the same person you are now in that moment. Okay. I will be the same <laughs> thinking through person. Okay, okay. You'll be switching up and getting... <laughs> and get nervous. Why don't you do it? No. I'm not doing it because you're the better option to do it. Mm. Not because I don't want to do it. Oh. Uh-huh. So stuff like that. We'll, I'm sure we'll get a gun or something. From I think so. I think we'll figure out. So do you think we're going to trap these niggas or we're just going to try to escape through the roof? I'm just like- trying to leave the building. That's all I'm trying to do. Mm, okay. 
If you want to, mm, no, you could, you could do that. I don't want to. I just need a knife and a pen. I just feel like if we catch a nigga in the stairwell and kill him, take his gun, I think we'll be straight. Take a radio. I need a knife or front. I need a knife, like something like really hard. Yeah. That I could. Throw? I need a knife, a sock, pool balls, and a pen. <laughs> yeah. That's all I need. You know what this That's is? all I need. I know my what my what skill sets can the provide. What are you gonna do with all them shit? So when I Carly, when she put the butter in the sock, <laughs> I'm putting pool balls in the sock. Oh. Tying that yo, that thing gonna hurt. That thing gonna hurt. <gasps> yo. That thing's gonna hurt. <laughs> but niggas got guns. Okay, I'm not trying to win a one on one. Trying to sneak. You said we sneak it. If we get caught lacking, I need yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. We gotta defeat one person for the <laughs> first gun. Wait, what? So, hey, one of us gonna have that thing. What's the pen gonna do? Just in case, like, he knocked my weapons out and I ain't got nothing. I just. In the throat. <laughs> in, the, in that artery. Yo. Yeah. You know that sound? Like you ever watch Keenan and Kel? Yeah, yeah, that's what that, that's exactly what I felt like, bro. Like, yo. You don't think it'll work? <laughs> I, think I know it'll... the pen is crazy. You wouldn't nah. expect a pen. What else did you say? If you, you disarmed me and I had a knife <laughs> and a sock, and you choking me out, and I'm like, and I'm like, yo, Darius, Darius, and you pull out a pen out your pocket, you got, yeah. You don't think you can save nah, me you, with I a? Can, I can save you. You can that. save me with a pen. You would stab that brother yeah. in his neck. <laughs> yeah, and we'd be yeah. good. Yeah, we'd and be then we get a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it could work. I think I could work. Ah. The ball just gotta do the most damage. Like that first hit gotta be in the head to disorient him. <laughs> and if the stabbing ain't working, and like he knocked the knife out, and then it's just hands it's and just he choking pen. me out, the pen. Oh my god! Pen, Cause bro. I see niggas stab pens through people's hands and shit. Yes. So that's the, gonna at least like uh, affect them a little bit. The pen's gonna hurt. Yeah. And the neck. Yeah. That's gonna hurt. We gonna them be bullet right. point pens. We gonna be. All right, all right we straight. We gonna get that first weapon. That's funny. That's what I'm telling you. Sorry, I just all of that through just now. Nah, that's funny as hell. Crazy. What, what did uh, what did Kel say? Ah, oh, here it goes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, here it go, goes. Yo. Here it go. No Kel. Oh, bro. But you got anything else you want to talk about, my brother? No, I just survived 13 movies. Nah, you survived hella movies. <laughs> okay. No, we survived. How many movies you saw? We nah, survived. I'm not, I'm not a slave, dude. <laughs> we survived three movies. Three out of the five. That's my bad. It's not bad. That's not bad. It's chilling. But thank you again for pulling up for another pod, my brother. Running you like, up the numbers. Yeah, running up the numbers. We got. Some, I got some good. This is going to be some good clips, bro. Hey, it's always, always. Always good. Some, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Follow all the socials down below. All that good shit. You got something you want to tell them if they watch uh, the whole video? Let me see. Comment. Comment A2 Brute. You should be in school right now learning that. If you don't know what that is, you're like five years old and I want you to unsubscribe. Where's that from? This brother's uneducated. <laughs> Julius Caesar is a guy who got stabbed, oh, yeah, stabbed like 1,300 times by his closest friends. Yeah, yeah. And his best friend stabbed him too. And he looked at that brother and said, A2 Brute. Oh, yeah. Okay, I do remember that. that brother. Real shit. Hey, Yo, comment that if you watched that whole, the whole clip. Comment A two blue ten, and I just gave you a history at the end of the episode. Damn, that's come tough. On, bro, come on, bro. Now they good. They good for the fifth graders when they get to that one <laughs> that one subject. Like, Yo, Julius Caesar. Yeah. They gonna be excited. Mm -hmm. They gonna be mad excited. Hey, yo, that's funny as hell. But we different than regular, no regular man, gangsta. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it.